You're right where the devs want you. Yeah, you could say that. My name is gonna be... J. Georgia Graham. No, it's gonna be Miles Cole. No, it's gonna be fucking Alice. It's gonna be Floyd Cooper. Now that's a fucking guy. That's a good fucking name, Floyd Cooper. Hmm. Yeah, orange stripes. Mm, no, I actually wanted to, hang on. Katie Barnes, no. Elvira Sanchez, no. A. Leonard Graham, lots of Grahams. Sophia Espinoza. Marcia Paula Walker. Dennis Nathan Flores on the Osprey. My parent is gonna be, uh, dirty. Just like stinky, dirty rust color. Something that makes you look like a scrapper, you know? All right. So I'm technically playing on easy mode. I'm gonna explain why when I get in, when we do this. Because the only thing that easy mode impacts is the amount of the speed at which you receive radiation in the game. Okay, the, never mind. The game instantly crashed. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, everyone, ignore that. Okay, everyone, just ignore that. Nothing, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. I'm going to assume that this game. Now that I've seen what happened. All right, chat. Here's the thing. Now that I've seen what happened with fucking Splinter Cell last time. I'm just going to assume that I need to cut the feed, okay? So I'm just going to cut the feed while I do this. I'm just going to cut the feed while I load it. Literally unplayable. Nah. Here we are. All right. So we are Dr. Dennis Nathan Flores aboard the ISC-326 Osprey. When one of sufficient wit and insight performs a proper orderly investigation into the matter, one finds that behind the ridiculous conspiracy theories and breathless flights of fancy endlessly circulated by the foolish, there are actually three provable alien artifacts known to humanity. All three are well studied. The social ramifications of their discovery were sweeping. For 40 years, they, were completely, cap they completely captured the public's imagination, but a hundred years after the last one was found, with no further news on the subject, even such a momentous development faded slowly into the background. Respectable academics detailed all the obvious interferences. Respectable scientists recorded every measurable characteristic in time. There was simply nothing left to say about them. They presently reside in radiation shielding lead crystal enclosures under artistic spotlights, museum pieces of immeasurable value reduced to a curio kept upon humanity's mantelpiece. Every character in the game, it's a roguelike. Every character that you bring into the game has a different starting story, uh, randomized. So my character seems to care about science. The fools call me discredited. I'm a doctor in this. I could be a different kind of character, but in this one, I'm a doctor. Like, I'm an actual scientist. The fools call me discredited, unreliable, an untrustworthy source. They close ranks against my papers, deny me publication, heap contempt upon me. I can prove my persecution with high statistical confidence. Let this log serve as the introduction to, my, to the most meaningful discovery of our time. Upon extensive study of, of these relics, I alone have come to comprehend their origin. My translation notes document my work in full detail. But I have had it pounded into me that merely being right will not suffice. I have liquidated every asset to my name and taken out a number of frankly predatory loans to raise capital. I have purchased secondhand a salvage craft and outfitted it with a, for a historic expedition of importance rivaling the journeys of Darwin and Kearney. When I return from the planet I know must exist with dozens of artifacts, the very fools who discredited my work, Thema Butler Wells, Charlie Archer, W. Terry Edwards, will be compelled to observe as history records my name and not theirs. Two months out, the Osprey has proven to be a worthy vessel. I should be nearing my destination soon. Beyond the point of no return, I feel a pang of uncertainty. The thought of nothing but empty space at my destination creeps in around the edges of my thought. What if I'm wrong? The planet is here, as I had deduced. I do confess some measure of relief at this development. Now all that remains is to recover unequivocal physical evidence of my triumph. The planet is highly radioactive, slightly more so than I had predicted. I necessarily will be subjecting myself to a serious quantity of radiation even at this distance. That is the, that is the mechanic that we have toned down a bit by doing easy mode. 
I don't have much time. I must begin my work immediately. Essentially, if we were on normal mode, we'd already be dead. Uh, the radiation mode, the radiation uh, in this game is very strong. Uh, to the point where you can be eating it by just, like, enjoying yourself and looking around your ship, okay? So I've turned it down a little bit in its intensity, because otherwise you have to sort of play this game how you'd play, like, a fucking uh, horror game in that we would have to be... Oh, my God. The camera takes a little bit of work to get used to again. In that we'd have to be running over here every 10 seconds. We're in, we're in zero Gs. The ship doesn't have, like, gravity, but essentially when we're not doing stuff on the ship, we're gonna have to come over here and activate the auto-duck and, like, get in it, because it's gonna, like, scan us. Okay. Uh, patient is in normal condition. No intervention recommended. But we are slowly soaking radiation. If we were in the normal game right now, though, with no radiation, with, like, radiation at normal speeds, we'd already be like, DANGER! You are dying! So, it goes a little bit slower now. Which is nice. Because it's just like an exhausting mechanic if you're trying to like take in things. So let me show you around my ship chat. Come on. This is the front. Let me show you around the cockpit first of all. And this right here is Hell Planet. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. That's Hell Planet. That's where the science is. All right. Let me show you around the helm. We got a rover survey maps. We don't have anything surveyed because we've never been on the planet. Uh, unidentified planet. There's nothing on it. Uh, we can technically leave whenever we want, but that would be for pussies. Uh, let me establish communications with our rover. This is our boy. This is our boy, the rover. Okay. They're modular. I can decide what I do and want, what I do and don't want on. I can turn off the microphone. I can turn on the microphone. That's how we hear things in the sh like on the rover. I can even turn off the video camera if I'd like, like that. It's cool, and we can add more stuff to it in the garage. So we're gonna leave that there for now. Okay, let me show you around the rest of the ship. Come on, chat, come on! This might be our only chance before things go wrong. Before things go wrong. This is a science lab. This is where when we receive things from the planet, we will run experiments on them to find out what they are. We won't even know, chat, we won't even know what we're bringing onto the ship until we've run a science scan on them. I mean that quite literally. We won't know if something was well, something we should have left on the planet until after we've figured out what it is. Uh, so we sort of have to stay on that. This here is the actual rover. This is my, this is my baby. Got plenty of stuff installed on it. We're actually going to install the radio receiver on it as well, though. So we're going to move that to the garage. We're going to send the rover to the garage because we are installing another piece of equipment on it we have in our ship. We want the radio receiver on it, so if we receive any radio signals on the surface, we can actually hear them. So we're gonna we're gonna get this thing installed. So we're sending the rover over here, and we're gonna tell it to install a EMF receiver. Module relays radio signals as audio. A passive radio receiver, a directional antenna driving an amplifier. This radio set has been configured to interface with their over uplink systems to transmit a stereo audio feed of the rover's local RF environment. Install it. All right, so it's installing that everything's modular. I can technically uninstall the microphone if I wanted to, but I'm not, I'm not gonna. But once that's installed, we can move the, uh, can move the, the, the drone back to its uh, launch system. So we're actually gonna send it to the launch bay now. And let's keep moving around to engineer it. This is, this is the heart of the operation, chat. This is where everything, everything looks like it's working in normal. Uh, looks like everything's working in normal as it should be. User terminals, everything's nominal. Life support, everything's good. Everything is good. Don't worry, we're fine. Door override. We can set it here to like, oh, open the door, close the door, make sure all the doors are closed. Everything is closed. I've been closing everything behind me, but eventually that'll matter. Life support. This is where the audio, this is where the oxygen all is, and that's our that's our gas levels. When those run out, we have to leave. All right, eventually we'll just get a run out of... Can't hear you? Oh, the engines are loud, huh? Don't worry, Chad, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Come on, let's head up front. Storage. 
We only have a maximum- we have a maximum capacity of how much we can carry back to the station, chat. And we have our... EVA suit. Out there, through that door, is the vacuum. And we can, quite literally, go out there... Right now. I'm, I'm gonna turn down the game like a fucking smidgen. There we go. We could go out there right now. I could even open the door and go out there right now. Alright? I could open that fucking airlock hatch and go out there right now without my suit on. But I won't. Keep in mind that we do have entrances onto the ship. As we move forward. Alright, well. Next we have my quarters and we're back to where we started. Excellent. No problem. Bear with this game when it comes to, like, performance stuff, because we do have, um, you know, the... This game is sort of weird and indie, and currently a rover is on the ground. It's landed on planet hell. I launched it when we started moving towards the engine. I didn't tell you guys, because I didn't want to scare you. But currently the rover is on planet hell. This is what the surface of the planet looks like. It's down there right now, chat. On planet hell. So we're here to collect a couple of pieces of items. We can carry two things on us right now. Okay? I'm gonna turn on the radio receiver. So, if anything happens, I'll hear it. The surface of this planet is randomly generated. To an extent. We're gonna be going up to places of interest, and we're just gonna be seeing if there's anything to pick up. Okay? There is an object nearby, we just have to find where it is on the ground. And we're gonna pick it up with our big robot arm and we'll bring it back up to base and we will scan it. All right, grab that. We got something. We got something. All right, 39N question mark. We don't know what this is. We won't know what it is. We could have just picked up, we could have just happily picked up an alien parasite, chat. And we won't know. Until we've scanned it. Okay? I see another thing in the distance over here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna swing by real quick. We're gonna give this a quick look. Caution, rough terrain. We have to be careful. If we lose our drone, it's game over. We only have one. What the fuck is that sound? Whoa! Alright, go around that. The reserve battery needs to charge. We need to turn on the auxiliary generator. We don't want this thing to run out of power. Zip zap tree over there. Okay. The generator charges up. Okay. We're just trying to grab one more thing and then we're coming back up. We only have two slots right now. Just be careful. Just be mindful of the terrain. There's an object nearby. I can barely fucking see it. The camera we have isn't very good. All right, we got something. Is this thing running off a foam battery? Yeah, well, I mean, it can also charge forever just by running auxiliary generators. So, like, you know, you get the trade-off of uh, it's got a low charge, but it's got a lot of ways to get it back, you know? Are right, we gonna pull out so there's nothing above us, and we're gonna recall the ship, because it's full. And it'll be here in one minute. We can actually watch it get all the way back to us uh, in real time on the on the turret cam. It it will leave the it will leave the atmosphere on screen. We'll see it come back to the ship. Here it goes. It's pulling out, and we've got two artifacts on the on the drone. So we need to make sure we move quick. God knows what they are. It could one of them could be a bomb for all we know, Chad. All right. It's a star. And there's us. Pulling up on us right now. Alright. And I don't see anything weird coming out of the drone or anything like that. Looks like we're fine. Alright, chat. Let's, uh, let's swing by the med bay. I want to see if I've soaked any more radiation since last time. Because it has. We've now, we now have been hanging out for a little bit. Let's close, let's close up the auto dock and just take a look. Take a look at ourselves here. We've received, uh, 
446 microsieverts of radiation. Uh, it's going to lower us down to 113 after treatment. We're going to let it do that. No. We're getting high rads now, chat. Just by existing. Right, get me out of this thing. Get me out of the box. All right. All right. The drone should be here. Has it parked? I can see it from the screen from the window here. It is. Okay. Let's swing by the drone. We could actually have seen it from this window. All right, chat, so here's how this works. Now that we've got what we came for, let's get on the screen here. We're going to grab these two things from the rover. And we're taking them to the science lab. They're going to be unloaded and moved to the science lab. All right, they're being taken right now, those two boxes. No problem. Open this up. Take a look at these, chat. Containment units holding two alien artifacts we've never seen before. So we're going to click on one. Insufficient data for any assessment further research, research required. So we're going to tell it to research. Users interactively assisting research on this sample, which makes it go faster. There's no, like, interactive, like, should I have to do it? It's just, like, over time it will research what this thing is automatically. So we're going to go one by one for now. Even though I could have it do them all in bulk. All right, so initial research of this has determined this device contains... Extensive networks of highly complex structures. The presence of semiconductive elements and constructs recognized as signal pathways suggest processors and data storage. Preliminary conjecture. Devices and electronic in nature. We got a calculator, baby. We got a calculator, baby. Hang on, we're on or something here. We might have a big calculator. We got a USB 2.0 thumb drive. Let's let it finish phase two. Further research reveals an extremely high degree of complexity in the conductive and optical pathways of this device. Preliminary conjecture, device is a computer. Additional research will be necessary to determine function. Users interactively assisting on this sample. All right, we got ourselves a small laptop. We got an alien phone. Chat. Some sort of alien phone. While that's finishing the last lap of research, we're gonna swing by the engineering bay. We need to check if there's any problems, all right? We ha God knows when the life support may just shut down. Okay, we're also going to tell all these doors to close. Any everything's working? Everything's fine. There's no problems anywhere. Everything is as it should be. Everything's fine. Are you alone on this ship? Well, I should be alone on this ship. I don't know what you mean by that. Chat member, I came to this, I came to this planet alone. Final report on 75F target computer. This device contains a sensor suite and a sophisticated signal processing computer. A majority of the processor appears dedicated to noise reduction, edge detection, and image recognition. Tested against recorded rover video data, this device identified and tracked certain objects with precision. Conjecture, grade 3 targeting computer. This device has been configured to interface directly with the rover's turret control. This device generates an unusually high amount of heat in operation. This device is well cooled and acts as a supplemental heat sink. This device is remarkably efficient and consumes an unusually small amount of electrical power in operation. Okay. So this thing's got a heat when powered 37.5 per second thing, but it has a massive heat sink. So this thing would basically power, this thing would basically cool itself, and then some, if we plugged it in. Uh, and it's going to let us automatically target onto things. We're going to leave that in storage. And we're going to start researching this. We're going to move that target computer into storage. For now, we're not going to install it just yet because we don't have any guns on this thing. This we have a turret, but it's basically a camera. There's no gun attached to it. So there's no, there's no reason to use it yet. So we're going to move it over to the cargo bay. So that we have it for later. Actually, we'll move it into the garage so we know it's there, where, we, where it's supposed to be. That'll hang out in the... And we got an optical something here. Whatever this is, it's optical. And matter of fact, now that's done... We can actually launch the rover. There's no more need to be waiting for it. It's already unloaded. So we can launch the rover back down to the, sh back down to the planet. All right, there's no need to care right now. Are the artifacts randomly generated? Yes. All right, we got a laser. Further research reveals this device contains a mirrored lasering resonator cavity and focusing optics. 
primary preliminary conclusion, object is a laser. Additional research is necessary to determine the operational parameters. The device is too large to be mounted in rover turret. What do you mean, too large? This device is, cap is a laser configured to operate in infrared, capable of delivering a high energy output uh, over a short duty cycle. The beam will attenuate if used in atmosphere, resulting in reduced damage. The size of the weapon precludes turret mounting in rover, leaving a fixed spinal mount as the only option. Okay, we need a special mount to use this thing. This is a heavy laser. All right, we'll move. We'll move that onto the. We'll move this into the cargo bay for now. Some sort of heavy alien laser device. And a lot of heat. Are you floating around the ship, Chat? Not every ship has fucking like built-in gravity. You know, it makes sense. We'd be drifting around like this. We're here on Hell Planet again. Ow. So yeah, the other mechanic for this game is that we have a weight limit. If we break that weight limit, uh, sorry, not weight limit, heat limit. If the heat gets too high, the, the turret can, the whole machine can overheat. And if it overheats, we will just lose. It'll die. And if the, if the fucking rover dies, we have no choice really but to go home, you know. So let's just keep exploring, looking around for things that grab our interest. I see a, see something up here. Looks like some kind of alien ship or tank. There's an object nearby. There's something. All right. Now, I've never seen anything try to get me in this game. All right. I've never seen anything in this game try to get me. We got something 40, 496X is our only identifier for. I've never had anything get me. To, we need to charge the fucking ship. Just a natural rock formation. There's nothing weird on. Chat, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with Hell Planet, okay? Don't, don't. You guys are gonna start freaking me out. Okay. Let's just grab this artifact. There's something over here. Look behind you. Now, I'm gonna tell you this right now, chat, so you stop freaking out all the time. Aliens ain't real. All we're seeing here, all right, is natural occurrences on a planet. All of this is normal geometry. Okay? Normal geometry. Did something move? I'd love to see something move with the fucking airlock closed. Like fucking luck just getting on the ship and doing whatever you want. You guys need to calm down, alright? Let's play a little bit of fucking Dungeon Road. Alright, this is what I'd always play when I got a little spooked. A little bit of Dungeon Road. There's a gigantic spider and a skeleton has cut me off. I'm punching it. I've killed it. I see a helmet over there. I'm gonna go for it. I'm dead. I've become a skeleton. Well, that was a fun. That was a fun little. That was a fun little detour. And that, that fucking scared me. My own, my own body, my own suit, my EVA suit, just like fucking made me think there was a guy on the ship with me. All right. All right. Let's. The rover's almost here. We're gonna run. We're gonna do a quick auto duck lap. Remember, we need to do this every once in a while to keep the radiation down. Rover's parked. Yeah, the microceiver is starting to climb. Is this a horror game? Is Signal Simulator a horror game, chat? I think that's the best answer I have. Is do you think of Signal Simulator as a horror game? Because if so, then this is a horror game. Because it's a horror game where nothing may happen or everything might happen. Let's unpack these things and get them over to the science lab, all right? I'm not fucking around. Come on. All right, what do we got here? Okay. Let's figure out what this thing is before we start research on the next thing. Looks like this is an EM field. Some sort of EM field device. We're actually discovering it very quickly. This probably isn't much of anything important. This is probably something very basic and normal. Further research reveals this device does not transmit, but registers internal activity in response to radio frequency fields. Preliminary conclusion device is an electromagnetic field receiver. 
Yeah, we already have one of those, I think. We're gonna fucking, we're just gonna like, throw this in the cargo bay. Uh, let's keep, let's start researching the other thing. It'll split load, so we can just, you know, research two things at a time. There's no problem with that. Okay, so that's a parabolic radio. This device functions as a positive, as a passive radio receiver. Okay. So this is, this is just a radio. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Module relay radio signal is audio. We already have one of those down there. We already have one installed. So this is a very low value piece of equipment. There's not really much reason to hang on to it. Okay. There's not much reason to hang on to that. We'll probably throw it in cargo hold. What was that sound? Did you guys hear like a hissing sound? Was that? Uh, I think that was just me. I heard that. I think that was just a science sound. That was the sound of like a science machine sciencing. Okay, this is a sample consists of several panels of thermally conductive uh, engineered material. Uh, all right, this sample could be adapted to a form of heat radiating surface plating for the rover to aid cooling, but may make the rover more vulnerable to thermal hazards. Okay, this would protect us from heat. This is a massive heat sink. That's great. We're gonna move that into the garage. That could go with the laser if we find a mount for that. So we're gonna put that armor in there, and this is going into storage. That's something we'll sell that radio, because we already have a radio receiver. All right. All right, Rover. Looks like you're ready to go back down there. He doesn't know, Omega Lol. Chad, I'll tell you what I do know. I do know there's nothing out here. I'm gonna check engineering, make sure there's nothing wrong, though. Everything good? Everything's fine. Usually by now, uh, life support would be breaking down. But shockingly, everything's been fine. Which makes me feel like everything's not fine. Almost as if there's something horribly wrong. You guys wanna like, hang on, you guys wanna just like take a peek outside? So just hop in the EVA suit, maybe take a quick peek outside, make sure there's nothing like... No barnacles, no space barnacles or anything? Why do you always close doors behind you? Because if part of the station, uh, if part of the ship vented, I would be sucked out of the airlock. Like, if stuff, if certain, like, you, this game works on FTL style oxygen, okay? And that means that, like, if there's a problem in one part of the ship, it can stretch to the other parts if you don't have the doors closed. Everything looks fine out here. I'm gonna check the bottom of the ship real quick. Okay. I'm just gonna take a quick peek underneath the ship. No problems, chat. No problems. Everything's fine. I'm gonna get back inside the ship now, I think. I'm gonna get back inside. Where's the door? Oh, it's... <laughs> Alright, we're fine. Door's right here. Just wanted to take a quick peek. You know, maybe there's like, you know, God knows what can follow the rover up, you know what I'm saying? Everything good? Close the airlock. Gotta make sure we keep that closed at all times. Let's get this back off me. Get this off of me. I love how dark it is. This game is spooky, but in like that signal simulator kind of way, you know, where it's like, is there something wrong? All right, so we're sorting these by value. We haven't found anything very, uh, profitable yet, which is a problem. But, uh, that's probably stuff we're gonna get to. We've still got a lot of time. We may want to unload some of the mo modules on the on the drone to make more space to, uh, you know, carry things. That, that, there would be some logic in that. Because currently this drone doesn't have much space for things. The radio receiver hasn't detected anything so far. Hang on, I'm gonna switch the radio receiver to a display. Now it'll actually display if it's receiving something in real time on one of the screens. All right, let's take a look at this over here. This is definitely something sort of suspicious. I don't know what the deal is with this, but there's an object perfectly centered in the middle of it, almost as if someone wanted me to find it. Let's pick this up. All right. Keep moving. Can we listen to a space podcast, Mr. Streamer? Chat, if we listen to a space podcast, what are the odds that I fucking, you know, miss hearing something and then something blows me up or gets me? 
We don't know what the hell's out here. Alright? All we know is that it's very gray. Now stay quiet and listen for bumps! Okay? I actually think I could just leave the auxiliary generator on all the time. Seems like it generates some heat, but not enough to really matter. Stay quiet and help me listen for, like, the sound of an alien creeping up on me. We got something. We got an object here. Oh, yeah. When I get back this time, we're gonna uninstall some stuff. Like, the compass. What do we need the compass for? You know? We can figure it out as we go. Return to me! My steed! Sniffing around for anything weird. I, I know the smells on my ship better than anyone, chat. Alright? So I'd, if something got on the ship, I'd know about it. In an instant, I'd know about it. You don't need a video camera? I can follow it by sound, you're right. I can follow it by sound. Alright, the micro are starting to get a little bit extensive. But chat, if we were playing on normal right now, I'd already be at like a thousand. And that, like, the game honestly has like a really dumpy time limit if you play it on normal. So I, I'd recommend, like, for first time through, if you're playing it, play it on easy mode just because it gives you more time to, like, take in the map and, like, take in what's going on around you. Sorry that sometimes, like, the FPS just, like, drops. That is in-game, and I've ch I've messed with settings. Sometimes the game just gets a little bit dumpy. I'll give it, I'll give it a break because it's a weird indie experiment kind of game. But sometimes the FPS just gets a little crusted for a minute. I think it's when the ship is still coming in, when the rover's coming in. Specifically, the FPS drops because it's currently taking two different feeds and it's all actually rendered in real time, like the planet. So it got a lot better once the rover got here. Okay. Let's get these things into the science lab. And let's send you to the garage, rover. I want you, I want you over here for a minute. I'm going to uninstall some of this stuff. Yeah, we're going to uninstall some things. We don't really need the radio in here. This isn't detect- it's not- it hasn't detected anything. There's no reason to have it installed unless we think we need it. So we had it installed for a bit, but I don't think we need a radio receiver. No, because we haven't detected any radio signals. But what if we do? Who needs a compass? I- I actually probably need a compass. Uh, what we don't need is this. We don't need a status display because we don't even- like, we know what's going on on the ship. So we're going to uninstall the status display. And... Nah, we're going to keep the compass. Yeah, we're going to keep everything else. So that gives us one more spare slot to uh, store things. So send it back to Cargo Bay. We're going to move this stuff over into the hold. The, comp the status display. We just don't need it. So we're just going to dump that in status... And let's get these two things researched. And while that's happening, we're going to launch the rover again. Let's find out what you two are now. One at a time. We, we, don't, we don't do anything. We don't do doubles until we know what one of them is, okay? Just in case something goes wrong. Microphone. We need the microphone chat because it's the only way we hear if something's about to kill us uh, on the ship. You have a map so you don't need the compass? Uh, well, here's the thing is that once we've explored more of the map... Uh, the problem is that, that mean, the map is showing us the direction, that line is the compass part, I'm pretty sure. I'll figure it out later. Alright, we got another electrical thing. Initial research has determined this device contains a thick conductive pathways consisting of heavy electrical loads. Okay, that's fine, then we can research this one. We actually got some of this done passively. Another mechanical thing. Alright, just two mechanical things, that's no problem. We can leave those two to go without any extra observation. If we find something that says biological by nature, that's when we need to, like, be watching it. And I don't- I haven't even seen anything biological by nature. I do know they exist, though. And I do know that if there was something that I would want to be observing in real time, without leaving to automatic systems, it would probably be something biological in nature that I brought off of the planet. Okay, so... I'm just sort of playing it cool there. Looks like we're landing now. Perfect. Yeah, we probably don't need the compass. You're right. We'll install that later. We'll uninstall that. Oh! oh. Swap. My fuel. Is there anything that isn't showing a feed? 
power controller go there now, so we know how much power we're using. Because this thing only has so much power. Alright, let's get moving. I see a weird dong in the fucking sands over here. This could be- this could be something big. I see a bi- I see a sand cock over here. And there was a sand cock I was looking for. Where is that? There it is. Looks like it's doing laps around me. Looks like it's like strafing me. Uh, I think it's just observing me. Whatever that thing is, I think it's just observing me. I don't have chat shoot. This turret doesn't have a gun, chat. Woo! Grab this thing and go! It's bombing us now! Go, 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 go! What was that thing? What is this? Chat, this thing's red. And it's causing some glitches on my screen. Uh... Where's planet hell? <laughs> Where's planet hell right now? Okay, it would be cool. We got a power plant and insulative foam. The foam is good for, like, fire- it's good for pre protection. And we got some weird useful electronic output thing. Uh, boosts our energy production. We're gonna move the foam... ...to the fucking storage bay for now. Okay. It will be moved somewhere else soon, we gotta wait for the rover to get here. I'm actually gonna check- I'm actually gonna run an auto dock quick. Before it gets here, it's still aligning orbit. So let's run the auto dock. Went to, from zero to a thousand real quick. Dude, that's what I was saying. This game's fucking cool. This game is cool as shit. This game's a super cool concept for a little roguelike. So, chat, what we're probably gonna do is switch our landing position. A th it's a fission reactor, what we have in the other bay. Okay, the rover's landed. I think I'm just I'm just checking my systems real quick. Wanted to make sure there's nothing wrong. Rover's here. All right. So what the hell is this? Move it into the science bay. All right. So let's take this easy. I'm gonna observe it the whole way. It has severe damage and will greatly complicate the research. I think this is because it got hit by a bomb. That might be the problem here. But we're gonna check it out. It might be nothing. It's gonna go real slow though. I did get bombed. That might also mean I need to check. I might need to take the, uh, the this to the garage and check it. Yeah, we don't have guns installed. So, um... I could actually check if I can install this. It said I needed a special mount, but maybe not. I have enough heat stuff that I could, like, cycle some of these things out. I'm gonna move this to the garage. I might need to repair some things because of this. This is an electronic. Okay, chat, it wasn't anything. It was just, it was just damaged. Why are you so small? I'm actually not that small. It's that uh, we're in zero G, technically. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. Uh, looks like it might be data storage. Suspend the research on this. We're gonna throw that out. It's not gonna- it's not- it's gonna be- it's gonna take so long to get here. So we're gonna huck this away. Uh, we're gonna throw it into space. Uh, it's broken. We've got more important things to worry about. A fucking rover got bombed by some shit. How's it going in here? Uh... Everything's okay. Nothing's broken. Technically. So can I mount this? Can I actually install this? We actually can install the heavy IR laser. But we're gonna need we're gonna need temperature stuff for it or it's just gonna break. How big is this thing? Whoa! That's a big fucking laser. 
Okay, so how much heat is that going to generate? Heat when active, 1800 per second. Okay, so I'm going to uninstall the compass. Get that out of here. We got a fission reactor too. I feel like... I feel like this fission reactor, this device is a compact nuclear reactor. When powered, it will generate a substantial quantity of usable electrical power. The reactor core is well shielded and armored. Projections indicate the level of damage necessary to cause primary containment breach are significantly above the level of damage the rover could withstand. Okay. I mean, we need radiative armor to pretty much do anything. This has to be installed, the radiative armor, because that's gonna boost our heat stain, like sink amount. So we're installing the radiative armor. So that's gonna be, that's gonna help take some of the heat off of this thing. And it looks like, it looks like we probably wanna do the fission reactor instead of the reserve battery, if that makes sense. We also have the target computer. That makes way too much heat on top of it. Let's be, let's like, let's experiment. I'm gonna take out the reserve battery. And I'm gonna replace it with the fission reactor. I'm gonna turn that on. See how much heat that generates right now. Yeah, that produces, how much is that doing? Looks like it looks like it, it it generates it constantly. Oh yeah, I guess we'd want the auxiliary unit to be out. Yeah, I guess that's what we'd want to uninstall. Because that's what's generating extra heat on top of it. We just want the fission reactor. Cuz that's good. That's going to let us break even on it. Cuz the fission reactor can now do all of the generation for us. So we can get rid of the auxiliary generator. What happens if this is on? Don't worry, it still has to fire chat. But doing the math here, it looks like if we enabled it properly, it wouldn't overheat the, the, the rover. Targeting computer chat, we do not have enough heat to afford the targeting computer. I can tell you that with a guarantee, like 100%. If we use the targeting computer as well, we're gonna explode our fucking rover. Uh, I might do, no, 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 no. All right, let's move all this stuff to Let's move all this stuff to the bay, for now. And hope that this works. I actually don't know what's necessary for the ship to work. Launch it. Wait, no, no, don't launch it. Cancel. I don't want to go there. Don't go to that fucking spot on the, there's a fucking death ship down there. Uh, reset the landing zone. Okay, now I think it's going to a new part of the map. Targeting computer was a heat sink? Was it? I'll be the judge of that. I'm pretty sure it used 500 heat per minute. Per, like, tick. Ah, it is a heat sink. Well, when our rover comes back, we'll install that. Because we need more heat sinks. Oh, it's actually still here? That's not good. Uh, I think we may have caused a problem when we switched our destination mid-flight. I think our ship... I think... I think we just lost, chat. I think we just lost by switching destinations as our rover was leaving. I think we, I think, well, you know, you can't win them all, chat. Good news is, we can go back in again. Maybe it's outside the ship. Yeah, who knows where it went, dude. All I know is that technically, we can cut our losses there. We made some money. We, we got some stuff out of that. We can exit orbit and go back home. And you know what? We didn't see a single weirdo alien the whole time. 
either we could go home or I could cut my losses as a scientist coming back in complete disgrace and open the airlock or even better yet open the airlock from the life support chamber and go to the bathroom while I suffocate in the void. Let me just swing on over to the engineering room and void the entire interior of my ship into space. Open. 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 Help. 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 I'll go to the bathroom while he's dying. I'll be right back. Epilogue, Dennis Nathan Flores. The ISC-326 Osprey never returned and was eventually reported lost with all hands. Sadly, the death of Dennis Nathan Flores was particularly unpleasant. His agonized struggle for breath ultimately a futile one. In hard vacuum. Perhaps someday, another will find this place. But in the vastness of space, it is unlikely. Final score is 196. I lost pretty bad there, chat. But don't worry, now we can go back in as Tristan Bell. Chip, Hawk, let's ride. And this time, we won't die like an idiot, and this time I also don't have to explain everything. Or the game, cr oh, chat, it's totally that. Holy shit, that, that Splinter Cell thing fucking changes the whole game, because now I literally know that if I'm showing the display of this game while it loads, it crashes just like Splinter Cell did for some reason. I don't know why. It's weird. We're gonna be Chiba Aru of the Solace. Okay, give me one sec. And we're in. So I'm mining a vein of nickel iron out of a huge asteroid when out of nowhere I hit this pocket of ice. It all flash boils and the steam pressure splits off this big jagged splinter directly into the right wing. Terrible sound had to break out the patches to stop the air leaking out of the cargo airlock caved in the whole area. Getting things fixed back at L62 cost me two grand that I didn't really that I can't really spare. Seems my luck might be changing. Spotted a ship manifest among the debris, looks valuable. Sold it to Aisha Archer Hill, a collector and merchant of Novograd. She was real excited about something, asked me into the back to check it out. She says, last week, somebody bought a, brought a damaged flight recorder. I bought it off her, even though it wasn't working. It took me a while to get it running, but I've recovered part of the data off it. You need to see this. Aisha fired up the terminal and started going through the data. Ship logs, engine temps, diagnostic info, nothing really interesting a planetary report in a previously uncharted system f type star one planet with one moon i start to say i didn't really see what the big deal was looked like your average surveyor hoping to make some creds charting unmapped worlds logging data and sending it back to an atlas company yeah but get a load of this excuse the glitches but there is a lot of damage radiation damage to be precise the planet is radioactive as hell but it's also active in the radio spectrum now there's two things in particular right first Look at this radio signal the recorder picks up here. I thought it was noise at first. No, that's a repeating count in base 13. I can't conceive of a natural phenomenon that would account for that. And I don't know if anybody who uses base 13. Wow, okay, that is interesting. Second, when the pilot gets close, 
he finds an unbroken cloud cover. But he's got a huge radar set on board, so he fires a tight focus active radar ping, and look what he gets back. Aisha had a few keys in the same screen displayed, and the screen displayed a blocky spinning image of a chunk of the planet's surface littered with geometric shapes, artificial structures, and not remotely human looking. I stared at Aisha. Yeah, wild, huh? She said. This seems like it's gotta be a hoax, but everything I've checked seems to hold water. I'm not sure if it's real or not, though. Here's my take on it. You've got a ship. I've got a business to run here. Given the radiation, I wouldn't go even if I could. This could be huge, but the risk is huge, too. So I propose a deal. I give you the coordinates, and if you find anything out there, you bring it back, and we'll split the take. If you find nothing, too bad. At least we'll know this flight recorder is a fake, then. I pointed out that I'd be the one buying fuel and supplies, and I'd be the one getting irradiated, too. She pointed out that she has contracts throughout the settled systems people could afford to pay what alien artifacts might be worth. A percentage of that is easily worth as much as I'd be able to get on my own. After some negotiation, we agreed on a mutual, mutually agreeable terms. We shook on it, and they hit a few more terminal keys. And they set the coordinates. I was almost out of the, sh the shop when it occurred to me to ask, What happened to the surveyor? Was the flight recorder found on an intact ship? She just shook her head. It was bolted to a hunk of wreckage, and it was all radioactive enough to need decontamination. The gal who brought it in found it by, by the emergency beacon. That chunk was passing through deep space near the rim. It just happened to drift within signal range of an outer relay. Crap. I tried looking for clues on the end of the recording, but it just gradually fades out into a static and glitches out after the last part I showed you. I've got no idea what happened, other than that it never made it back. Be careful out there. I spent the last of my savings on the fanciest auto dock I could afford. If the data is real... That should give me a fighting chance versus the radiation. I ran the numbers on the flight recorder data, and I'm pretty sure I can punch a signal through the interference to the rover if I stay in high orbit. That should minimize my dose, too. Fueled up the solace and set out. I wonder what's waiting for me out there. I've been trying to get a break. Maybe this is what it looks like. I arrived. The planetary system is right here. The recorder data was legit. Radioactive, cloud-covered, enigmatic. I sent a brief message to let her know that I, was, that I got here. Setting up my orbit... And prepping the rover now, time to get to work. Alright, chat. Back to it this time. We don't fuck it up. This time, planet hell gets owned. Established connections. Launch. I'm going to assume it was me changing the destination that destroyed the rover last time. I'm going to guess that. Or it was the reserve battery being taken out. We might have needed the reserve battery. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Radio receiver? We don't need that radio receiver. It didn't do anything last time. It's not going to do anything this time. Now help me watch the ship land. All right, you got time to fucking tell me things. You got time to help me watch the ship go into low orbit and make sure there's not a monster down there to get me. Someone fix the line, it's all staticky. Someone go down there and like jiggle the camera. I can't see anything. Hit it. You hit it. You go down the get out there right now and hit it. Alright. Going down the cloud layer now. And we're dead. Wait, we're alive! We're alive! All oh, mountainous. Alright, I see some things over there. And that thing right there, that looks like a person. I'm going over to that thing. See that thing? Turn around. Over there. It looks like a guy. And this looks like a tree. This is exactly what I've been looking for, chat. Now let me turn on the generator. Let me take a peek around, see if there's anything like flying around that might try to get me. After last time, I don't want—I don't really want to take any chances. But that. Why camera bad tomato? Well, we are punching through a massive amount of radiation, chat. In lore, this makes a lot of sense why the camera's bad. We are punching. This planet is so radioactive. We're soaking an insane amount of rads by being in space, like near it. It's stretching that far out of it. Okay. So it sort of makes sense that the connection would be dumpy at the same time. 
Radiation affects electronics? Have you not seen Chernobyl? <laughs> it's amazing that this works even now! By the way, if you haven't seen Chernobyl, holy hell, man. What the hell are you doing? There's an object. Here it is. What the hell is it? I was on it for a second. There it is. Gotta squeeze underneath this. Got it? Chernobyl series is fake and exaggerated. Oh, I bet you're a lot of fun at parties, bud. Here we go. I didn't like it because it's not realistic enough. God, shut up. <laughs> shut the hell up. Alright. We got some stuff here, let's bring it up. Would not would wearing your EVA suit on your ship reduce your rad intake? Maybe. Alright, let's recall this thing. Maybe the side of the trade-off is that I can't see through it very well. It's got that really narrow fucking screen, you know? So like, you know, I sort of gotta pick whether I wanna be able to see and move or be protected from rads. But I mean I got this fancy auto dock, and I can run this thing whenever I want, baby. You know, it wants a little bit of Haven't you guys ever seen the expanse, dude? A minor, I guess I, 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 I yeah, yeah. Have you guys ever seen the Expanse? You got treatments for everything in the future. No, you guys gotta watch the Expanse. The Expanse is awesome. This, this is like the future, all right. In the future, I just fucking inject some shit later when I get back to the doctors, and I'll be good as new. No amount of radiation is that bad for you in the future. We'll be fine. I'll just like fucking staple my arm, and I'll be good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just wait for the ship to get back. Let's actually check the uh, engines while we're here, just in case, hey, you know, like, life support decides to shut off. I've had life support literally shut off. But everything's working right now. I've had moments where I'm like, am I choking to death? And I realized life support was off the whole time because it, was, it just got sleepy and decided it didn't want to work anymore. So here we are. Wait, wait, wait. Bulk unload rope. Yeah, move these things to cargo. All right, let's get these all in the science lab and get scanning. Let's check out what these things are. This is gonna be a long research, we're doing it all at the same time, because I'm a psycho. What about that compass? It is about time we get that removed, so we have some more space. We wanna get as much as we can whenever we can from the rover, or else we're uh, wasting time. Rover to garage, please. If you will, over to garage. And uninstall the compass. Put that to the garage. That gives us four slots of space to do whatever we want. We can also uninstall the status display. We don't really need the status display. That gives us five slots of spare inventory space to work with. Status display just tells us stuff like you are almost done picking up the thing or whatever. So not very helpful. You are almost done landing. Like, you know, no shit. All right, looks like we got some stuff identifying now. One's an optical thing power storage. Further research reveals this device appears to be capable of storing significant electrical current. Objects can be used as a power storage device, all right? And we got a laser of some kind here. And a surface plate. Object could be mounted on the rover surface. Looks like this could be a heat sink of some kind. Nothing, nothing biological, which is good, chat. Nothing biological and nothing eldritch in nature. All I know for a fact, chat, is that there are fucked up things you can pick up that will quite literally end the game uh, if you keep them, like, so. We do need to, like, observe these things in their descriptions carefully as we go forward. Okay, this is a, this is a f armor, fire protection, armor protection. It's thermally insulative and may interfere with rover cooling. We haven't bumped into anything in producing fire or shooting at us yet, so I'm not going to install, like, anechoic camo. 
Sample absorbs a broad spectrum. Oh, it's a stealth. It's a stealth coating. Okay. It's like a camouflage. And what is this? A 9 p.m. single use cell. This power storage device is a non rechargeable auxiliary power unit. All right. Once depleted, discharge rate of this device is limited. Uh, device appears to have a lower storage capacity than was estimated from internal initial examination. So we basically got a double A battery. Uh, that's being thrown in the trash can. That's actually being thrown out. Uh, and this is a uh, big, big old laser. X935IR laser. The beam will attenuate if used in the atmosphere. Looks like we could just install this thing now. We're going to install the laser and the camo. We're actually going to install those two. It's already in the garage. So those two are going over there. We're actually going to... We're going to store... We'll store the battery for now. Even though we're probably throwing it out. We're probably going to huck it. Because we've got better stuff that can fill in much better than that. Alright, laser going on. And the camo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get them all. That'll leave us with three. How do you look in there? Look at you, baby. Looking slick. With a nice turret on the back. All right, let's get you launching. The hands. You guys love those hands. Those hands are those hands are handling all sorts of horrible things. You guys are gonna be grateful for the can. For the hands. Okay, we're actually starting to soak radiation. We better be careful. The radiation's happening again, Chad. I'm feeling a little bit bloaty. Almost like I got like tumors on the inside. <laughs> What's the rad cutoff? I'm gonna assume 2,000, but that's only from stalker metrics. At like 2,000 to 4,000 rads in stalker, you're at the, you better eat something. You better stop this. That's sort of like the, oh, you better. You better do something or you're in big trouble. Sort of thing, you know? Is the, rotor give, the rover giving off radiation? No, it's not the rover. It's, um, it's Hell Planet that's giving off the radiation. Just by being near this place, we are soaking insane amounts of microsecurities. Just by being near it. All right, Rover Chan. Wow, that internal Rover temperature does not fill me with very much confidence in being able to shoot this turret. Oh wait, it's probably because we're re-entering still. Okay. Why? I think we just landed on the tree and died. Chat. I think we, uh... Note to self next to the round. Uh, go ahead and fucking make sure we depart from a... We departed right next to that tree. I'm guessing it tries to put you as close to your destination as possible. And that meant we just sort of fucking instantly landed on the tree because it tried to put us exactly where we took off and we flipped ourselves. Well? Can't you buy a new rover? No, I matter of fact, I can't! I'm poor now! We're gonna get them next time, chat. We're learning all the specifics of the game. I actually didn't know that could happen, believe it or not. But yeah, your rover is like your, oh, I got, I got an even worse score than last time. Okay, well, hey, this time for sure now. Let me cut the feet. I'm gonna be Herb Cooper of the Magellan, or the Magellan. I don't fucking care. I'm not gonna, I may not read the whole plot this time. We may end up like catching up on that like after a little bit. I wanna get to it because I just got fucking fucked, you know? Okay, so it turns out the game just crashes at this, like whenever you try to load up a new game. So give me one more sec. The law! Oh, that one's bad. Eyeball Omega Lull Eyeball. That's pretty bad. 
But the plot is the best part. We'll do a quick skim, don't worry. We're Carter Jordan of the Vulture, is our name. I actually think I can display the screen then. Because it looks like it just like crashes out once every time. There we go. Oh look, yet another unsurveyed planet, almost identical from the last one I just left from. I have to admit, this seems a lot more interesting than back when the I Ivory Solco recruited a recruitment officer described this job to me. Adventure, excitement, sights never seen by man. Yeah, he didn't mention all the uncharted planets fall into three basic types. Lifeless, identical, blasted little rocks. Lifeless, identical, gas giants. Or lifeless, identical, balls of ice. This one is a lifeless, blasted little rock. I'm, courage I'm courageously exploring it, by which I mean imaging it from orbit. They don't even authorize sending the rover down to dig for samples unless something looks particularly promising from space. And that hasn't happened yet. Wrote up my report, working title, Yet Another Completely Remarkable Planet, Unremarkable Planet, Volume 38. I proofread it, and then gave it another read just to be sure it was perfect. It won't be enough for them, of course. Nothing ever is. I've been put on probation for doing things exactly the way they ordered me to do them. Working for these guys is a living hell. I wonder what they're complaining about this time. At least that's one more survey target done. Eight left to go. And then I get a couple of days off. What's this on the long-range scan? Why, another lifeless ball of rock. Color me surprised. Another report to write. Speaking of reports, they rejected my last terrestrial parameter scan as too short, despite it already being over the maximum length they ordered me to use. Threatened to fire me if I don't shape up with a more detailed report next time. I filed my revised terrestrial parameter scan. Rejected. Reason. Too long. Headed for my next survey target, a G-type star with one planet. I'm not even in system yet, and this one is already turning out to be fascinating. This planet is strongly radioactive. Blah, blah, blah. Same, same like, spiel as usual. Uh, snippet of radio noise. Record clip is repeating. Count base five. I can't picture a phenomenon that would use an account for that. Two hours to orbit. Uh, yeah, so we're like, oh, dude, this thing's fucking real, bro. This thing's a real fucking planet. Two hours to orbital insertion. I haven't been able to sleep. My brain won't stop. Won't even slow down. I keep thinking, what if just, what if I just don't tell the company about this? I've got most of the week before my report is noticed as overdue. I've got two or three weeks before they could even possibly get anybody out here to look for me. The Vulture is a top of the line survey ship. I'm already here. Right now, I'm probably the only person in the universe who knows about this sh planet. The vo I, I can shut down communication, shut down the transponder, transponder, go dark, deploy the rover, check out the surface, grab some samples, get everything I can off the planet. Cargo could be worth millions. Once I've grabbed everything I can grab, I'll make a run for the independent outpost called Outside Ceres 2. I know a guy there who could move this sort of cargo for a small cut of the take. If the company wants to come after me, I'll be able to afford a legal team better than theirs. Selling the samples for, from something like this, I'm going to be a wealthy beyond imagination. Okay. Orbital burn complete. Circularized in a parking orbit. Let's make sure we don't crash our rover into the fucking tree line this time. Yeah, how about we do that this time? First of all, let me uninstall like the couple of like random meaningless things again before we get to it. And let's make sure this time we don't accidentally d depart on a really dumpy fucking like spot. All right, and then we make some money, chat. This time for sure. This time for the last time. Understand? Compass, uninstall. Get it out of here. Status display, uninstall. Get that out of here. And that leaves us with a lovely five slots for our first return. Launch it. Best of luck out there, Rover Chan. We're gonna be leaving with a lot of stuff this time, and I swear to God, if I land, if I ever land another rover on a tree, I'm gonna fucking scream chat. I was only able to play that off as I'm cool one time. Okay. That happens again, you guys are gonna see the beast unleashed, okay? You guys are gonna see the beast unleashed. Alright. Cause that, that, that was... <laughs> Does the power controller do anything? It gives you very specific uh, info on your power, which is important. It's not super important, but it's important enough that I'd like to leave it on. Okay. Here. We go. Oh, we actually don't need that shown. We can leave the microphone displayed now, too, so we always know if we're receiving a sound. Uh. 
All right. Here we go. Remind me, every time I leave, every time I'm about to take off, park somewhere flat. Well, take off somewhere flat. Because if I don't, we're going to end up landing on some bullshit again. I think that's water. We're by an ocean. All right. We're here. Let's turn on the auxiliary generator. Do not want to take off on the surface of any, like, on any, like, weird slants again. Lest we fucking perish. Because of some bullshit. Yeah, this looks like something. If I had to guess, this is something alright. Let's grab these and keep on moving. Alright, one YP. Alright, we're gonna head along the shoreline. Here. Going this way. Just be mindful of the terrain. The survey map is usually what tells us if the terrain's getting dumpy. If it gets too dumpy, we're gonna wanna, like, find another place to go. Because, um, remember, if this... Like you've seen twice now, if we lose our turret, we lose the game. I mean, if we lose our rover, we lose the game. We don't get any redos on that. This is, like, the hard part. Is If you lose this thing, it's all over. You can't, like, repair it. You can't get it back. You can repair it if it gets hurt, but you can't get it back if it gets, like, destroyed. You just have to cut your losses and go home. Lots of stuff over here, I reckon. Wow, lots of... What's that, a turret? Got something on the ground here. And everything on the horizon. Garage computer offline reset via engineering. Well, just one computer being offline is nothing. Tell me when life support goes down this time, yeah? What do I care about the garage? Garage computer goes down all the time. Who cares? We don't use it that much. I'll fix it in a minute once I've grabbed the last piece of uh, equipment. There's something over here. On this obelisk. This one seems like something evil. All right, we got five artifacts here, chat. Five, count them, five artifacts. Let's pull into the clearing. I don't want to get fucking slammed on again, so let's make sure I have a lot of real estate around me. This looks good. A little bit more, actually. Right here. Right here is perfect. I want to be a little bit flatter. Okay. Be cool. Good. So, what's, uh, what's this I hear about the fucking computer? What's this out here? What's wrong here? Engineering? What's wrong with the computers in the garage? Answer me. User terminals, rover garage offline. Alright, let's just force a reboot that. There you go, it's rebooting. Water's fine, we got plenty of food still. No problem with anything. Engines, looking good. Is it rebooting in there? Yeah, you can see it. There it goes. It's starting up. We're gonna hit the uh, medical bay now, because I've probably soaked quite a couple radiation points. Hey, Chad, are we still on easy? The only thing that easy changes is the amount of micro sieverts you receive over time. That's like established, so like we're just not. We're just not gonna be like at a thousand micro sieverts and have a game that can only last a maximum of 30 minutes at a time, because I want this to last a little bit, you know. We'll lose our we'll lose our drone instead. But I'd rather it like that than fucking get it here. Everyone quiet, focus. Big day today, we got five fucking things. Okay. Start the work. Start the work! We got one extra thing that we can't even clear. Okay, we're gonna do this two at a time. I don't wanna do them all at once. Just in case something goes wrong. I-282. Initial, this is a, this is a electrical piece of equipment. That's fine. 
That means it's probably like an engine or something. Another piece of electrical equipment. We're just making sure we can do it a, a, little, a couple at a time because we want to make sure that none of these fucking come out and say, Hi, this is an alien in a box. How did you not know this? You know, it could happen. So we go one at a time until we know what the first thing is. Okay, a lot of mechanical and electrical stuff. No problems there. Can I rename these? I can't. Robot, probably. There we go. Now we'll always know. That's probably a robot. Probably some kind of alien robot. What is this? An optical? This is just some sort of camera? An electrical weapon? Uh, this looks like a hazardous electrical device has offensive capabilities. You can use an electrically operated weapon. I had a laser on my old ship. I don't have one on this one. Okay, we could use this for something. And what's this here? Further research reveals this uh, seems to be storing... It looks like it's a power storage device. Okay. Okay, we can use a power storage device. What's this robot, probably? It's a surface plate. All right, that's a, that's a, heat, that's a heat sink. Yo, this is good. We're getting some good stuff. Nice and early. And what are you? We probably just want to send this back down while this is all researching. A laser. We can send the rover back down now. It's been emptied out. We, we have... I didn't see any threats, so we're just going to launch it again. Right away. And hope we don't fucking land on some bullshit. We have so much stuff to research. There's no reason to, like, you know, waste any time. We're, we're fucking dying of radiation poisoning this whole time we're here. 1YP? Oh, I know about 1YP, chat. Don't fucking panic. It's in a box. Currently, we're good on radiation. You don't have to do anything. Don't panic. Thanks for the fucking gifted subs, Billy Bob Cletus. No one panic. If I was pan- Do I look like I'm panicking? Where's the box? <laughs> Where's 1YP? Where do we store that? I thought it was in the storage hold. Oh no, we keep it in chat. Don't worry, chat. Don't worry. It's actually better. This this is in the room that's directly connected to an airlock. If something goes wrong and something climbs out of one YP, cha ching, I walk out back and I just fucking vent that thing in the deep space. That's nice and safe. Okay, one YP's not doing shit down there. Everyone panic. Don't do that. Okay, everyone just silently, like, pray multiple times that we, uh, hopefully land on a flat surface. Alright, we're good. Let's get moving. Research is complete on something called light arc. Sort of crystals. What the fuck is that? That doesn't look the same as some of the other things. What is that? Is that some kind of... big pyramid? Ever, do you also feel like you're, like... This feels like... This feels like a better version of Prometheus. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys see this thing? the outside of it. See if we see anything. Any ways in. Any items on like the outskirts of it. We just gotta watch the survey map because that's just gonna tell us if there's like any really rough terrain inbound. We got something? Let's check the perimeter. Looks like a front door, if I had to guess. We're just checking the perimeter for items. There's no reason to try to get in somewhere that doesn't want visitors. Alright? We are not nosy neighbors. Some sort of three-sided pyramid.
That is a fucking creepy thing. Alright, we're just gonna keep moving. I'm not a psycho, I'm not about to like fuck with things I don't understand. Okay, we're just after items. While watching out for drones that might shoot me. Or my ship. Or an alien that comes up and punches me. Just want to take a look around the cockpit, make sure there's nothing weird going on. We're gonna grab the last two things over here and then we can get back up here and finish up research on the last thing. Why P1? We're getting a lot of stuff, chat. Did Hell Planet change color? Yeah, it changes color every time. Uh, I don't like this. We're on like a ridge right next to a cliff. I think we just went in a circle around this mountain. Yeah, looking at the map. Let's be careful. I don't want to like fall off anything. Let's go this way. There's a lot of stuff down the down the uh, beach. I've never mentioned that. Let's follow the map down the beach. Grab our last thing over there. God, this game is fucking cool, dude. It's got a great atmosphere to it. All right, that's where we started over there. We're gonna get this. We're gonna go to like, this four-pronged like thing, this weird pyramid-looking thing. Take a quick peek. It feels so tense. It really does, cause like you know, it's scary, cause you're playing basically two different permadeath characters at the same time. The rover. If that dies, you lose, and if you die, obviously you lose. So it's like you're sort of doubling up, and there's something really fucking spooky about that. Alright, let's grab this and make sure we pull out somewhere wide. Let's not be idiots. I don't want to fucking crash again. Okay, we're just gonna backtrack to like a, the clearing over here. Alright, this is, this is nice and fun. So let's take a look at these things. Now that we've got it all researched, we can take a look. Pulse laser. This device is a high energy laser capable of delivering, yep, laser beam. Uh, it's a big one. It's a very strong one. Not that much heat actually on it for how strong it is. Armor plating. Uh, resilient to concussion, con con combustion, abrasion, and electrical insulator. It looks like it doesn't have any downsides. I mean, that's just going right on then. That doesn't have any downsides. It's just armor for no price. Uh, storage battery. This module is a power storage battery of rechargeable cells capable of storing surplus electrical power when available and releasing it when a power shortage induced voltage sag would otherwise occur. It looks like we can replace our reserve battery with this. It's like a better version of our reserve battery. Uh, this device is or can be used as an offensive weapon. When triggered, when a trigger is pulled, a powerful electric arc is produced. Uh, is projected. This weapon is highly damaging but unpredictable and erratic in an area of effect. This device generates an unusually high amount of heat in operation. Okay. We're definitely installing the armor plate. And the pulse laser. I don't know about the light arc. That seems like that seems like interesting but I'd rather have a directed aim. And the storage battery is also being installed. So one YP is going in, bulk unload the rover. Let's get these other ones set to research as well. So we can move this into the cargo bay, just in case something goes wrong, you know? Then we'll check our fucking rads. What is this? Uh, optical, some, it's just like a camera or something. So that's fine. So we'll let those two research as well. Let's go, let's go cure my rats. We probably soaked quite a few. That was a pretty long cycle. And then we'll go install that stuff on the rover. A camera they're using to watch you. Chat, you guys are so paranoid, it's freaking me out. There's nothing proving the aliens are real. You guys are scaring me. There's nothing here that makes me think aliens exist, okay? These are all natural phenomena. Ever seen a camera before? They grow on the- they grow in trees, Jack. Unbelievable. You should be scared? Nah, man. 
I ain't scared. Check this out. Rover to garage. So hopefully, I can replace the reserve battery with this one. Power storage capacity. Wait a minute. The reserve battery stores more. I don't think this is any better. It's actually worse. Okay, we'll sell that then. That's still worth some money. Charges faster. Not fast enough to make it convincing. Alright, pulse laser is going on. Yes. Pulse laser will be going on. Uh, there's no way that's producing enough heat to actually, like, endanger us. Because our max heat's like 2,000 currently. And we're also going to install the armor plate. Armor plating's going on. There's no reason we don't install some plating. Okay. Mini IR laser. We just researched. Uh, total power production. What's my maximum? Power situation. Our situation with power is superb. Alright. But our maneuverability is terrible. Wow, look at this bad boy. Now, chat. Holy hell. What's the microphone for? That's how we hear anything on the surface. It's actually our surface uh, audio. Storage battery is going to go in there. So it looks like we got some computers and stuff. So mini laser. It's a laser uh, configured to operate in infrared, capable of delivering high energy output in a short duty cycle. Uh, that's going to be going into the thing. We got target computer. It's a sensor suite and a sophisticated signal processing computer. A majority of the processor appears to be dedicated to noise reduction, edge detection, image recognition. Uh, it acts as a target acquisition device. Doesn't use that much heat. That's a really high quality version. We could probably install that. It uses very little heat. So what the hell are you? We got, we got a transmitter. Active jammer. Device with a high intensity broad spectrum transmitter. The signal generated is of ins is of sufficient strength to induce glitches in other devices within the field. Uh, it could heavily impact like any robot thing, another mechanical thing. Okay, let's get these into their proper sections. That jammer is gonna hang out in the garage even though we're probably not gonna use it. Target computer is gonna get installed right now. The IR laser is not being used. Why are you so short? I'm not short. I'm flying sideways. We're gonna be we're gonna be lower on space, but it's gonna be worth it for the sake of protection and safety as we move on. Okay, chat. So and I'm just observing how much power we build and if we break even on it. Okay, the pulse laser cannot be on all the time because it does. Gr we don't. We don't like get rid of enough heat to leave that off. So that's good to know. Pulse laser will have to turn on when we want when we want to use it, and we will test it when we get down there. Don't you worry. But um, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's finish up the research on everything else here. Was this a launcher? Uh... Further research reveals this device appears to be an arrangement of equipment on a central launch tube. We got grenade launchers, baby! I mean, I still haven't seen- I've only seen one enemy and it was a small drone. But that's rad! Uh, so what is this exactly? Rocket array! Hang on. I think I just accidentally renamed it. We'll just name it Rocket Array. We were current, we were in the editor while it was fucking renaming itself, so I think it like overrid it. Another laser. This device appears to have to implement unfamiliar technologies to achieve a familiar goal: launching a swarm of unguided drones, each equipped with a proximity fuse 
explosive warhead. This device has an enlarged capacity. I got a better idea than a laser jet. Wait a minute, I'm gonna blow myself up with that thing. No, I'm not, I'm not, we're not gonna use the rocket array. <laughs> I don't wanna die. That, someone, someone will buy that for a lot of money. All right. I'm not installing that. All right, we're gonna launch the rover now. Well, these two things are finishing. We got a laser. Nothing crazy there, and another electrical thing, no problem. No problem. Wow, the feed for this camera is great today! Well, enjoy this color while we have it, chat. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was a targeting computer for a minute. Like, just improving things. Alright, we're gonna leave the targeting display there. And we can actually move the- we don't need the microphone displaying. Burst laser! The targeting computer may be improving our visuals. Uh, this looks like a high quality burst laser for 3,700 credits. Thermally efficient, remains cool during activation. Okay. That's a lie. But hey, it's a burst laser. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna move that over. To the storage bay. And the electrical weapon almost done yet? We we'll be getting a lot of weapons. Okay, ship's touchdown. We're gonna do a test of the. Oh, that was spooky. The tip there. Now we are going to test the pulse laser once our heat dies down a little bit more. Okay, because I do want to know uh, if that's gonna be like a thing or not, you know? Wait a minute. What do you mean, acquiring? Okay, target computer says it's acquiring and locked onto an enemy over there. So how do you- how- how are you doing? Okay, that does some good shit. And doesn't actually use that much heat. Okay, we're, we are cooling off fast enough that we can actually leave the laser on. What the fuck does it see right here? I think it just sees nothing. And it's just acting a little crazy because there's nothing there. It's just locking onto, like, artifact zones. I mean, that's helpful for, like, us finding stuff, I guess. There's nothing actually here. This is just telling me where the objects are. Which is, like, I guess helpful for me. Yeah, that's helpful. Thanks for that, I guess. This is cool now. We're getting, like, weapons. We're getting things. We've got some protection. We've still got a good amount of power budget. Be careful of cliffs. You can do two items at a time. That looks like a giant spider, doesn't it? Just too bad this laser's so big, we actually can't aim with it. Which means it's not very helpful for, like, uh, you know, uh, shooting at thing. We might end up wanting to use the burst laser just because we can actually aim with it, like, above us. This one's like a tank. You know, really weird, awkward tank turret. I can't move. I don't know how to get in there to get the item. Let me run a lap here. Let me run this way. This looks like it's over here. There it is. Hello? I had it for a second, I swear to god. There it is. Alright. What is O24A13? Okay, those are our two here. Let's pull over somewhere uh, flat again, so I don't, like, tip and die. Careful, there's like a crack in there. Gotta watch where I drive. Alright, this is flat. We may end up swapping out this turret for the other one. Just because this one is, like... Extremely, f like, weird. Let's cut the power to the pulse laser so we're not building as much heat anymore. And let's get this thing out of here. Alright. 
Let's hit up the auto dock. Don't want to die. I'm surprised how many guns and like electronics we found. This isn't super spooky like I thought it would be. I mean, chat, this is like a signal simulator kind of game. We may never see a spooky thing. Or there might be something outside right now and we just don't know it. It's not a game that really advertises that there's something trying to get you, you know? Burst arc. Device or what? Uh, or can be used as an offensive weapon when the triggers pulled. A powerful electronic electrical arc is projected. Uh, it's an AOE. That's another. Those burst arcs sell for a lot. A lot of people like the zip zap. Okay, I'm actually gonna send both the laser here and the rocket array over because I want to see what the rocket array looks like. I'm not saying I'm gonna use it. Hey man, good to see you, Rover. Figure out what these things are, and then get you over to the garage. Because uh, that la that laser we currently have is not very good. I don't think for us. We need something that we can aim, like, properly with the camera. Or else it doesn't do us much good, does it? Okay, pulse laser. Uninstall, please. Now, the rocket array... What are the odds that I kill myself with it? I mean, we can't reload it. By the looks of it, it does a ton of damage, but the price is that we cannot reload it. It's like gonna be a burst, lot of damage really quickly, but once we've used it, we'll never get another. I don't think I really wanna do that. The burst laser sounds nice. It's got low heat production. Uh, it's only a little bit weaker than the other one, and it should Should be something that I can turn Yeah, there we go. That's better for like everything a turret like that We're gonna actually be able to use that thing in a fight if it comes down to it so You guys all head down to here. You're 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 storage now. You're gonna be hanging on storage Okay over to cargo bay, please. If you will. And uh, if we could begin research on these two things. One of them is already halfway done. Uh, what is this here? Electrical. Alright, we got something. We got another electrical thing. No problem. Let's uh, launch the turret and get it back down to, uh, down to the zone. I'm going to keep the lasers off till I've... Uh launched and landed at my destination, I think, just so I don't accidentally blast, you know, mineral. That's not a weapon. People fucking, man, chat, we've just had, we've had, we've just been getting lucky with guns and stuff. We're not, that's not all that's in the game. We found a rock. That's right, folks. We got ourselves a rock now. We got ourselves a rock. But what kind of rock? Archaeological. Further research indicates this field sample is of xeno-archaeological significance. I see. Alien bones. From planet hell. Okay, well those are gonna take all day, so I'm just gonna like seal this, because my rover's almost down on the ground. on the burst lasers. And let's try to see where we're going now. I see some stuff over there. I only got that thing. We're gonna get that last thing on the side. Alright, let's see how much heat this gun makes. Okay, that's pretty good. That, that'll do us some good. That's much better than the last one. I also think that sped us up a lot. We're much faster now. Ceramic gear was the thing. That or that was... Okay, yeah, we got two things here. Okay, we'll grab these two things. 
just gotta be careful of our surroundings. We don't want to like tip into the ocean. And this tree will kill us. We know that from the last time we landed near a tree like this. Fucking son of a bitch. Got something? We already know that's something electrical. So we can just, uh, discard it. We don't need more electrical stuff right now. We've got a lot of electrical stuff. We're we want stuff- we want stuff that seems a little bit more on the wild side, you know what I'm saying? Oops. Eighty-one four P. All right. We're actually uh running out of real estate to travel. We may need to find another map. Uh, we can do that. We can just recall and like move. You know, I actually am gonna bring this thing with me because I'm gonna switch locations. We're gonna go to a new zone. We're gonna bring this with me. That might end up being something good. All right. This is. We're gonna be landing in a new zone now. So we're abandoning this this zone. We're gonna pick a new landing zone. And while that's happening, let's see what this bone was. Ceramic gear. Uh, samples of circular ceramic wafer with a perimeter of spur teeth. Tool marks suggest these teeth were formed by abrasion from a stone tool. Chemical dating places a sample in the order of five millennia earlier than other samples. We found like a fucking... Found like a... It's really like worthless. I got batteries that are worth more than that piece of shit. Radioisotope uh, TGO24, huh? This device is a radioisotope thermal generator. All right. Uh, the isotope is not recognized by this research facility, but it is well shielded. A thermoelectric uh, system generates uh, usable electrical power. Note the isotope sample emits waste heat at all times, even when the generator is switched off. Wow, that's a lot of heat. That's never going in my ship. Ever. Quite literally, that is never being used. Ever. All right. Unload the rover and get these things researching while we pick a new destination because we are not landing back there again. And let's hit the medical bay. I can feel the, the, the tumors. 4.5 power generation Omegalol. To be fair, uh, we usually only have 10 budget power. Like, 4 is a decent bit. That's like half of the budget power we have currently, if we added it. But it's definitely not good enough to justify... Is everything on? Everything's on. We're fine. It's not enough to justify the amount that, it, like, it heats up. So I'd want to lighten up my ship a little bit more. I don't think I need the targeting thing. I could probably ditch that. Whatever. Exit link. All right, we are resetting the landing zone. Okay, so that's gonna put us back closer to like the spot. I don't. Want, I didn't want to walk all the way back. So now we'll launch again. And we're going inland now. Return the plate. No, the plate is mine. It's one of these two things. This thing's already, we already basically know what this is. Because we probably already got it at the base. We already understand this thing. We understood it the second that we... Return the slab? I ain't returning it! What's your offer? Want me to return the slab? What's your offer? Unknown. Wait a minute. Unknown 814P. We just reached phase two and we still don't know what that is? What do you mean we don't know what that is? What do you mean? Hang on, I'm just gonna watch this phase two go to phase three. Return the slab or suffer my cut. Research indicates this sample contains xenobiological material. Sample tests negative for electrical activity, metabolic process, exothermic reaction, movement, or gas exchange. Sample is either deceased or in a very advanced state of cryptobiosis. Keep researching the damn box. <sighs> yeah. Dude, the fucking 
Science board is gonna love that one. Close the door. All right. Inland. Come on. Chat, we finally got ourselves a fucking win. I actually want to see what its final result is. It's done. They're both done. Remains of a biological specimen sealed within a tough manufactured flexible liner. Specimen deceased radionucleotide dating suggests a time of death in the order of 10,000 years ago. Sample is severely desiccated. Purpose unknown. Conjectures. Medical tissue sample, mummification ritual, or dried food stuff. It's just a desiccated husk. It's dead. And we got a solar collector. That sounds awesome. Uh, power generation 2.9, 25 per second. We don't have anything jet like pulling enough power that it really matters. Uh, we're gonna need to start like fucking dumping shit that doesn't make any sense to hang on to because we are at the end of the day trying to make the most money possible. You know, everything's on, everything's good. All right, let's get back to the rover then, and get back to work. I hope we didn't get like shot while I was doing this. Yep, rubber's looking good. Alright, we're heading due northeast. We don't have a compass anymore, so we're sort of guessing. But don't worry, chat, if there was a problem, the map, the targeting display, which, by the way, uh, the targeting thing for this game looks sick. I love the targeting thing. It'll tell us if there's a problem or any weird issues with the terrain that I need to be aware of. So far, it's real quiet out here. It's like a barren wasteland out this far. Aside from whatever that is. Was that a mountain? Yeah, we got something out here. We got some, uh, we got some schmutz. Out here. I don't know what that thing is, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go any closer to it. Where's that object at? I do. Got it. I think I'm gonna go over towards that thing. Whatever that is. I think, chat, you guys might be getting spooked by whatever this is. I'm gonna go right up to it and see if it's another gigantic pyramid of death. I think. You have a gun now, right? Oh yeah, I have a gun now. Thanks for asking. You bet I got a fucking gun. And I ain't afraid to light someone up if they get too close. Alright? Whoa! Ah! Alright, we got like a fucking rocket turret shooting shit at me over there. Ah! I can't even see him. I think I hit him. It said I locked onto him. Same's not great. Ah! I can't see my fucking reticle from here. Ah! This is spooky. I don't like this. I put myself between. I put this thing between me and I did not. <laughs> I put myself between. You think I can Now he's hitting that thing. And I could probably hit him from around it. Looks like yes. Looks like I just lit him on fire. Yeah, fuck you! Think it's dead? Are you dead? It's dead. I'm not acquiring any targets. It's dead. Some fucking turret thing. The hell? Protecting this weird obelisk. Loot it? There's nothing to loot. It'd be telling me on the thing. But it was protecting this, by the looks of it. It moved. I'll check again. What? We got something that's yellow. But I don't think this thing got hit by a missile. 
It might just be a little damage from like passively being something else. Or yellow is something bad. Or yellow is something good. I'm gonna check it and make sure this thing can't be looted. Oh, it can be looted. We're gonna drop this electrical thing. So I can pick up this electrical thing. It's probably damaged to shit. I'm not even sure if that was the same thing. No, it, well, that was the thing I just dropped. I'll drop it here. There we go. Now, what are you? What are you? Electrical. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of electrical schmutz. Before we go back, I want to get a little bit closer to whatever this is. Okay? Because we're not getting anything on it. No, nothing on the radar, nothing. Oh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Fuck these electrical things. I'm gonna discard this here for now. I want whatever's in Death Pyramid. This seems more interesting. Give me this. Optical. We could use a good camera. Alright, we'll park right next to this electrical thing. I may end up coming back and grabbing it. Get some space here. And... Recall. We get a good view of the uh, pyramid when we come back. So. So. Everything's researched. We're starting to run out of space. That desiccated husk. It was a good find, though. Let's run a let's run an auto dock lap while we're waiting to get the rover back. It was a good haul. We need to we need to lighten up. I think we can get rid of the Nah, dude. The fucking the the lock on thing was actually really helpful for me. I think we want to we want to keep the lock on thing. I'm trying to figure out stuff I could ditch. Cuz I guess the microphone, maybe? No, I need the microphone. Map? No, the map's the only thing that's telling me if there's danger in front of me, like, terrain-wise. Sometimes it's not completely obvious. Hang on, is everything on in there? Yeah, everything's good. Rover should be here in a second. There it is. How long has there been dangerous levels of radiation on the, sti on the ship? Forever. That entire planet is dangerous levels of radiation. The whole thing. Chat. All of it. It was damaged, this sample. But we're gonna scan it anyways. We're gonna put all of our energy into it. We're gonna find out at least what it is before we throw it out. What if it's an alien sample? Who knows? If you don't, let's send the uh, rover to the garage as well. We don't really need the power, though. There's nothing we need. Like, that's the thing. We have options. I think it is time. I'm going to get rid of this radio isotope. Hang on. I'm going to sort these. We can actually sort these by their uh, value uh, using the UI over here. So desiccated husk makes sense is the most valuable thing we found. That's an actual alien body. Or food. One or the other. Status display we'll probably just throw out. We don't need it anymore. Compass, don't need it. Okay, that clears out a little bit of space. So what are you? God, it's still at phase fucking one. That's how that's how damaged this thing was. It must have gotten hit by one of the missiles. Let's uh let's at least find out what it is. If we, if we find out like it's something question marky, like what the fuck is this, we'll let it go. Inconclusive. Alright. Well, whatever it is, it is apparently something that I'm going to want to continue to research. And this is a bunch of lenses. It might be like a camera of some kind. Optical lenses. Okay. Close the cargo bay. Alright, everything looks good. Where's Hell Planet? Oh, this is Hell Planet. It's just we're on the dark side of it. All right, uh, launch. We're sending you back down there. Better camera might be nice. 
I've found I found cameras that let you see in the back of your head like it does a reverse view. Well, it's going to take a little while because this this is hogging a lot of the energy. So this is going to be two long researches. Back down into Hell Planet, Jet. In the void. We're really far away from our destination now, so it takes us longer to get there. If that makes sense, like we it takes us a bit longer to land now because we're on the other side of the planet. I think that I think it does that. It'd be cool if it did. If our side was on like the bright side, so it had to like loop every time now. Okay, let's just get the optical thing like unlocked to phase two. God, it's taking eons. Look at how slow the damaged one goes. Surely the unknown damaged object won't escape while we're away. Well, it's obviously dead because it got hit by a missile. Uh, intermediate report, it's a laser. Okay, maybe, it, well, okay, this is like a, this is like a big laser too. We're probably gonna end up selling that and throwing it out. What the fuck? Oh, that was the ship landing. Okay, I thought we were getting hit by something. It was just, it was just a rover landing down where it's supposed to be. Oh. All right. Keep going around the pyramid here. Watch out for cracks. Search the area carefully now. Should probably install the RF radio receiver soon. Cause this seems like something that would output a radio signal, you know what I'm saying? fucking these things okay this looks like a death uh, scorpion but it's not giving out a targeting signal so it must be nothing give it here some electronics if I have a choice to ditch something I'll usually ditch the electronics over stuff I don't recognize immediately Specifically because I have a lot of electronics. Something's moving? That's not possible. Everything's dead out here, chat. Dead or dying. Okay? So don't try to spook me with that again. Everything's dead or dying. Now help me grab this weird frisbee. We're dropping this electronic. Or whatever's in the frisbee. Ex electronics can be useful things, though. I know. We'll eventually get it again, but I'd rather have stuff that my character doesn't even understand, you know? Which is this right now. Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! I think I drive away straight this way. Before they damage whatever's in these things. Can't see whatever's over there. We'll be back. Oh, we'll be back. Recall. Oh, we oh, fuck you too! Dick! I saw him. I saw him for a second. That's why I wanted to get up that way. It's like a tank thing there. So, you're a laser, an IR laser that causes a lot of damage. Uh, looks like you're a looks like you're a heavy one. Anomaly Tech is what this one is called. This research facility is unable to explain the properties exhibited by the sample. Scientific measurements yield anomalous results. Research self-check and calibration sequences indicate lab is in good working order. Sample is of an anomalous nature. Further research possible conjecture at present impossible. 
Sample H24's damage. Well, chat, we got ourselves something real spooky. Anomalous technologies. Here comes another p batch of weird shit. Does it go well with my desiccated husk? We're not gonna research the other two things till this one's done, though. Just for the sake of, like, getting it done quickly, like, you know? Guys, see this is what I'm saying, though? This game's fucking cool! It's like, there's not a ton to it. Like, it's not it's not like a game I'll play like a hundred times on stream or anything. But it is a cool, one-off, like, weird, experimental game. It's really fascinating. Because it's like, it's got that signal simulator, like, is there a fucking problem? Is there something I should be worried about? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So... Assembly of narrow filaments. This is a graviton source. Uh, filaments of bismuth and beryllium contained within a substrate of ceramic material arranged in a compact space-filling curve. When powered, device appears to subtly violate conservation. A mass gain of 0 0.05 is measured. Purpose unknown. Principles of operation unknown. Sin significant implications regarding validity of physics model used by science research facility. Anomaly tech. We're gonna send it out to the uh, cargo bay. That's a cell. Gonna sell a graviton source at the cargo bay. All right, that's good. Let's figure out what these two are. We don't know what either of them are. You know, chat. There's a logic to be said that it might be time that we take a peek outside with our AVA suit to make sure that there's not some sort of wild alien monster underneath our ship breaking in. You know, like how you go outside in Signal Simulator to, like, test to make sure that, like, there's not a weirdo alien in the garage, even though nothing ever happens in the garage. You know? I think we take a quick peek outside to make sure there's nothing wrong. You know, like, that's normal. That's normal shit. I'm gonna take a quick peek. I don't want to peek on the other side. Yep, we're going back in. No problem. Coward. Nothing ever. Everything all. Chat. Problems always happen on the left side. All right. Always. Always. Never forget that. Also, my guy really should have packed more cargo space. So it looks like we got a mechanical thing and an EM field thing. Over here. This research determined uh, structures operate as waveguides wave and antenna. Electromagnetic field device. All right. See, my issue right now is that that thing was shooting at us pretty hard. And that's not a problem, per se. Uh, but I couldn't see it through the camera. Which worries me. Like, we can kill it. Just I couldn't see it. Active jammer time? Maybe. I don't know what the range on the active jammer is. Because I, I haven't packed this thing because I didn't... I wasn't sure if I was ever going to need it. Uh, this device is a high-intensity broad-spectrum transmitter. The signal generated is of sufficient strength to induce glitches in other devices within the field. It'll, in, it'll interfere strongly with radar and to oversaturate targeting sensors, making the emitter difficult to accurately pinpoint. This seems like it's gonna, seems like something we're gonna install. Sounds, that sounds helpful for getting rid of this guy. So let's get that in. We're only gonna have one, uh, 
a slot to pick up something, but honestly, we're sending this down to take out this turret thing or whatever it is. So the way I see it, that seems like we'll just, once we've killed it, we'll come back up anyways and re-uninstall it or whatever. So that, that's fine. So you go ahead and launch now. Can you repair the Graviton Stone? Frankly! Oh, chat. Looks like it also fucks with our electronics. Looks like it's gonna be a double-edged sword. Who knows if it'll actually work on that thing, either. We'll have to see. I assumed it would fuck with our stuff, too. Let's hope I don't lose connection to my fucking drone down there. Wait a minute, thermal? Oh, I thought that meant, like, thermal... Looks like it's a thermostatic thing to reduce... Reduce temperature. Okay. An EMF receiver. Okay. I was hoping, like, maybe I got, like, thermal vision. That'd be great. No matter. Look at that sunrise. Finally looping. We've done one whole lap almost around Hell Planet. Chat. All right, stuff's about to get dicey. There's not much point in that. So which way is this guy from here? That way, he's already actually shooting him. It's like right there-ish. Fucking asshole. I don't think he's actually hit me. That or my armor is good enough that he can't get through me. Hang on. Okay, we're gonna see if he can hit me when I'm doing this. Yes, he can. The jammer didn't work, chat. I just got reports back. The, uh, the jammer jams me. Why is my camera off? Did I accidentally just turn off my camera? Oh, I accidentally just switched my display to the jammer by accident. Okay, we're just gonna go around it then. I'm not gonna go over there, I can't see it. And it's still shooting at me. I want whatever's in the air and then I'm gonna back up and then we're gonna just go a different way once I've re- like, re-uninstalled the jammer. Y'all ever fucking been a crazy guy? Live on the wild side! Extremely damaged piece of equipment. Thank you for that fucking asshole back there. Whatever. It might be a. That's alive. I'm gonna loop it. I'm circling it. Got it. Woo! How's my surroundings? Flat? Something just- some asshole just broke my armor plating? I'm going to go ahead and recall in this corner now. Real quick like. Before anything else goes wrong. to the safety of the sky realm nothing comes up here yet <laughs> yet I'm gonna have to repair that fucking armor that armor is like the only thing that's gonna keep me alive all right so I got a metal detector uh, this device consists of a number of instruments arrayed around a large inductive coil. When the coil is powered, a small eddy currents are induced in any nearby conductors. The resulting magnetic disturbances are detected by sensors. The device can be used to detect nearby buried metals and artifacts. Yo. Yo, 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 I actually couldn't power this thing if I w I could, I I feel I feel like I would die using this, but it's gonna sell for ten thousand dollars. 
The metal detector we're gonna install. How's my baby doing? You got hit back there! Everything's on. Let's check the auto duck. I see one guy telling me that my rads are too high, blah, 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 blah. I check it literally every time the rover gets here. You can stop reminding me. I haven't forgotten it one fucking time. You can spare me all capital warnings for it now. Thank you. All right, baby, how you doing in there? You really got some stuff, this, this stuff got fucked up thanks to you. That's gonna be a long bit of research there. I need to know what it is before I throw it out though. I won't repair it, I won't, unless it's alien material, it's going in the trash can probably. Can I get the rover over here? We gotta repair that armor. Does that armor plating still work? It's definitely broken. Uninstall it. Oh, look at its value. Okay, so we have a 60% chance to repair it, a 16% chance to fail repairing it, and a probability of catastrophic failure is 24%. Go for it. What if I repair the Graviton Ball then? And that would boost its value? Yo, chat. What if we repair the ball? That's taking a while. How's it going? Please, I really need that armor. Hey! Okay, so. 47% chance of catastrophic failure, only 22% chance of success. We're gonna skip that one. Uninstall the active jammer. Reinstall the armor plating. Manipulator arms are necessary. Power controller. Uh, this device will control and prioritize power flow between installed rover subsystems. When the power system is powered arm on, the rover devices placed higher in the list will be given priority over rover devices placed lower on the list. Uh, that's like necessary. Here's the thing, chat, is that like the fucking targeting computer has not been very helpful to me. I sort of like the idea of finding secret stuff in the ground. So I'm actually going to uninstall the targeting computer for now. It hasn't helped me. The only thing I've needed it for is IDing shit quite literally like in the distance, and it hasn't been able to help me with stuff in the distance. I've been able to identify enemies now that are near me. And other than that, I don't really need it. You need the microphone? Oh, I need the microphone. The microphone is the only way I can hear if there's a fucking enemy after me. Without the microphone, I can't hear bullets flying by me. So that's absolutely necessary. Alright, that's some electronic shit, so we're probably gonna throw that out. How worth it? What's the worth of all this stuff? This storage battery is getting discarded. Yeah, we're throwing that out. Same with this radio isotope. No, we're gonna keep the radio receiver. God knows if I might need it eventually. So, what's your deal? Let me take a look at your, like, specific... Highly complex structures? Yeah, nah, we're not even gonna finish that. That's gonna take for fucking ever, and there's no reason for it. Let's throw it out. It's broken. Those assholes bungled it. Alright. Let's launch the rover. Does red mean it's broken or just unique? Broken. It got hit by a missile. I'm pretty sure that piece. There it is, baby. Now that's some shit. Okay, now that's some stuff we can work on. Hell planet. I can't believe nothing has come onto the ship and tried to eat my face off yet. But there's always later. Well, I got time to do another rap, uh, lap of the auto dock real quick. Yet. Yet. Chat, if it happened, you guys would fucking scream. If, like, something... At this point, we've been doing this for almost two hours. If something actually got on the ship now, I feel like you guys would lose your 
fucking minds you'd be screaming. That would fuck you guys up at this point. We've been here for a while with nothing going on. Uh, we're probably gonna get shot on the way down. Good news is our armor is fixed, thank fuck. Storage terminal offline. What do you mean stir storage terminal is offline? Yep, there's asshole over that fucking bridge there. Over the ridge. We're gonna avoid him. I don't need to fight things. Like, that's the thing. Most of the stuff doesn't seem to be pursuing me. They're like stationary targets. I have no interest in fighting for no reason, you know? Well, what do I gain from that other than maybe something off of them? You know? Got a launcher. This is how dumpy my camera is. Like, I'm not gonna see much of anything. No point risking my life. The husk has esca escaped captivity! No, Chad, we're fine. The husk wouldn't dare escape captivity. We gotta watch out for this crag that could kill us. Fucking missiles. That's a ship. Or are you dead already? You've been dead for a long time, huh? We keep exploring a little bit further, even though we have a full inventory now. Just because, you know, there's a chance we find something even better. Let's keep going this way. Every other way has been like sort of a danger zone. Let's go this way. I don't much want to die. This looks like stuff down here. Also looks like the kind of place where a fucking turret would hide. Pyramid. Oh, we haven't been to before. Yep. Where you at, though? Over there. I think I see him. It's just him. I can probably get him. Was that him? Yep! That's him. Okay, let's try to get behind something. Oh, stop it, please. Okay, he hasn't actually hit me yet. Well, he's probably gonna in a minute. He's actually missing a lot of his shots. Got him. This, 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 this thing ain't as bad as it looks, our thing, all right? We can kill. We can. We can kill enemies. And we don't usually actually take hits. It doesn't look like anything got damaged in that scuffle because my armor is so high. Okay, this is actually a fucking cliff. We can't get over to that pyramid. As much as I want to. It's actually blocked off. Uh, do I want whatever dropped out of this thing? It's probably like a turret or a gun. Keep the mechanical thing. Ditch the launcher. Fuck, it's actually gonna just pick up the thing I just dropped, I think. Because it's technically close, so hang on. I see something way out to the left there that I want to go to. Launchers are probably mostly finite weapons. Like, the rocket thing has only so many rockets before it's out. I'd rather not hang on to that stuff, unless I'm planning on selling it, just because... Not gonna shoot it, probably. Finite at all. Haven't detected anything on the metal detector. Where am I? Okay, cargo's having some problems. Hang on. I, I, I didn't check what's going on with cargo, because cargo's had two different things go offline in the last, like. <gasps> Why'd that scare me so bad? <laughs> oh, I almost, like, threw up right there. I like gagged when I saw the fucking auto dock open. I was like, oh, thumbs in the ship! <laughs> what the fuck? Why'd that scare me so bad? <laughs> Stop, it's just a husk chat. There's nothing. Okay? 
It's dead! It's gotta restart the ship. Some stuff breaking. Reboot those. Okay. Everything's cool. Jet? Everything? Is Gucci. We're gonna get back and our ship is gonna be dead, by the way, our drone. But we already have a full inventory, so technically, chat, we're just exploring for the hell of exploring now and trying to make more money off of it, okay? Because we already have a full ship. Repair the husk? The husk is in mint condition. Don't get that twisted. The husk is as good as it's gonna get. It's just that it's also dead, you know? And dead it will remain until the end of days. Guys, I'm like telling you now, the one second something does come and get me on the ship, I'm going to throw up and the stream is going to shut off, okay? Because like, I won't be able to do any more of this game after that. The metal detector is detecting something out here, I swear to God, look at the map. Look at this. Buried object, detected. I don't know how to pick up a buried object, though. I don't think I have a shovel. I did not think that one through. <laughs> didn't, uh... Didn't think that one through. Don't have a shovel arm. Oh, well, we'll come back for it. I'll remember where it is. Maybe I'll find a shovel arm. Hey. Stop that. Oh, it's shooting missiles at me. Oh, it's shooting fireballs. I God knows what this thing's shooting at me, but it's fucking... Breaking my reserve battery! Got it. It broke my plating again. It's time to go home. Recall. We'll be back for your treasure. Broke my reserve. It broke my plating again. Dude, when this armor plating goes for real, dude, we are gonna be fucking seriously in trouble. <laughs> and he, I think he hurt the auxiliary. No, I can't tell if those are different. I think the microphone got damaged too. Are those, no, those are all the same. Yeah, reserve battery is busted a little bit. Hang on, I'm gonna actually use this moment to look around my ship real quick. And see if I see anything suspicious on the outside, so I don't have to go out there. Chat, what if I, what if I did though, chat? What if I did see something on the fucking, like, turret camera? Wait, what if we did though? Like, what then? What do I, what do we do then? Everything's cool. Man, it gets really quiet when the microphone is broken, dude. Okay, so, uh, unload the rover, please. Let's get these scanned. Well, that's happening. Rover's gotta go to the garage. It needs a doctor's visit. Rover, if you would, please. I didn't see something- I didn't see something more suspicious. I didn't see you on the turret cam. I'm invisible. I have invisible powers. Okay, chance of success, 60%. Join me, chat! In prayer! Please, armor plating! If you break, I lose everything. You're my everything. Please. It's actually, you quite literally are the only thing that keeps me alive. It's gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Well, at least we can get the uh, microphone. That's only at a probability of success of zero. <laughs> it was so dead. 
Oh, that was it, chat. That was the only thing that keeps us. I mean, we have a full cargo bay and a graviton source. We did pretty good on this run. You know, if we had to go home now, I would say not bad, you know, for our first real run. We'd probably do another afterwards if I had to go back right now. I would say not bad on that one. Okay, good news is reserve battery is nice and repaired. I think the microphone is definitely damaged as well. Yeah. Auxiliary generator as well. I think might be damaged. Anything else in your damage? Alright, microphone's good. Reinstall it. One microphone lower in the queue. And generate. Okay, everything else is fine. Hey, chat, you know that? Bro, that just means we got more space to carry more alien artifacts back to the station, bro. It's fine. We can... We'll, we'll recover. The, it's not a big deal. It's, it's really not. We'll be fine. It's really not, bro. It, it's... It's not a big deal. You gotta understand that we we have a lot of options. We, we can recover from this. We'll, we'll put... We'll, we'll staple some metal onto it. Take off the metal detector. True. <laughs> I just, you're right. We don't have a shovel. So the metal detector is sort of nothing. We can just get rid of that. Kraken is going to be so fucking mad. I think you mean Dave. Kraken has no... Kraken... Kraken has no stake on the voice being used, okay? That's a Dave thing. Kraken observes the voice, but it is Dave that, that that loves the voice and hates its usage when an improper thermal shit and launchers. Okay, metal detector can go back in here. You know, chat, I'm gonna install the radio receiver. No, I'm not. I'm gonna throw this thing out. Bazongus. I'm never gonna use it. Fuck that! We're over to Cargo Bay. How about we install the desiccated husk? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give me one sec. Gonna run a quick med scan while that's sliding over. If I don't like staple like oh our micro sieverts are starting to get up there chat at like 2,000 we have to leave Okay At 2,000 we've got to go I don't even know what the actual cap in the game is before I have to leave but I'm gonna say 2,000 is my cap Okay We're like any higher and we're entering the danger zone. Hi, I'd like to install desiccated husk I'd like to uninstall that. That was a bad idea. Chat, you know what this ship reminds me of? The drone? And only like two people are gonna get it and they're gonna poggers like nothing else, all right? That fucking drone, the drone's look, okay? It, um... Wait, where the hell's the... Where the hell's the husk? Hey! Oh, it's still in there. The drone here looks like the uh, one of the bots from Slay. It looks like the fast one of the fast bots. So none of you are gonna get what that is. It looks like the, f the one of the quick bots from Slay. All right, we got a guided missile here. Uh, how many of these we got in here? Eleven. Uh, base power consumption. Uh, unfamiliar technology to achieve a familiar goal. Launching guided maneuverable drones, each equipped with a proximity-fused explosive warhead. This launcher is particularly compact and can be adopted to the rover turret. I don't trust it guided at all. Uh, water flush. Research facility has succeeded despite substantial difficulties processing this sample. 
This device is a total loss emergency cooling system. Okay, that's awesome. So it boosts the heat sink by a ton and refills whenever I go back to the ship. That's cool. If I end up needing super heavy firepower for something, that would be great. Our inventory is once again full. We're going to start ditching high value, like lower value stuff. Let's launch the uh, drone back to the, to back to the surface. I hope we never bump into another robot ever again. Because, um, we don't have armor anymore, Chad. Dude. Alright, gonna be real? Signs level shit, dude. Fucking, like, looking out the window, like, looking through that doorway. And all of a sudden, like, you just see a little alien leg scamper across the thing. I would fucking immediately die in real life if that happened. Like, you just see through, like, the door, like, a fucking movement. This game could literally just do, like, just be, like, Signal Simulator like that. And, like, you, nothing actually does happen. But the fact that you see something happen one time is enough to be like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> and you, like, start, like, fucking dying. You know? It just did happen. No. No. No, no. Aliens aren't real, Chad. They're fabricated. By big media and big business. To fool you. To, it's, a, it's a buying alien-based merchandise. Do you understand? What were those tanks, then? Uh... Rock formations. You see that thing way over there? I just want to go over to that. That might be the next destination. This is a rock formation. S908. You don't even know what the fuck that is. That might have, like, dropped a little rock alien. I mean, a rock. Might have dropped a rock or something. Look, we just gotta avoid... Getting shot? Getting that flamer gun would be incredible. That thing fucking lit me up. That thing lit me up. Alright, so we're going this way. So I want to get to the end of that peninsula. So we gotta follow this rip. Okay. I'm being camped. Stop coming near me. Stop that. Okay, I don't think that one attacked me at all. I think it was just minding its own business, this rock. Let's grab whatever it had on it. That it was trying to get near me so it could grab me. Power storage, I'll take that. Idiot, see you later. Everything else is dead. Dead or dying. I'm gonna follow this ridge along the cliffside. This peninsula all the way around. I have to sneeze so bad. Hey, hey. Dead or dying, just like you. True, 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 true. I like to imagine we live in an expanse-like medical system, chat, and that means. What the hell is that thing up there? Is that another pyramid? It's another pyramid. That means that if I get like a simple shot, all right, all that radiation will be out of my system like it's nothing. I'm being shot at. What's shooting at me, so I'm gonna act like I don't know it's there. Okay, chat, here we go. That's like the responsible thing to do. Is act like I, I see you, I see you way over, you're never hitting me with that. At that distance, I might as well just ignore him. Cause we'll be here all day taking pot shots at one another if we're doing it like that. Fuck you. It's like on the other side of the bay, just... You can actually see him. That's him right there. That must be. See that, like, little dot? See that thing? He's moving very slightly, that's definitely him. Kill him, 
goes. Can't aim down. That! That or that? Okay, you, can't, you guys won't, even if I zoomed in, you wouldn't be able to tell what I'm looking at. That or that's just a bit of shadow. Just to be safe, I'm gonna give it one more sample. And stay down! Motherfucker! My eyes! You guys wanna be staticked? <laughs> All right, chat. We're going to that pyramid. Object nearby. Over here. And this thing. The fuck's that trash on the ground? This thing right here. Inventory's full. Well, I'd like to see what it is, at least. So let me dump this it's a mechanical thing, just quickly. I want to see if it, if I know what it is, I'll take the mechanical thing first. I laser just jump scared me. I got jump scared by my own gun. Electrical. I'm gonna take the electrical before the mechanical. Let's go myself some space. You can see this mechanical thing that's on the ground is a little briefcase. Down flat terrain. Check to see if anything's shooting at me. I think we're gonna go to the big dome over there next. I think that's the next place. Be cool. See that thing? That looks like the real deal. Alright? That looks like the real deal. We're going to that. Well, first I gotta make sure my cancer doesn't get any worse, cause holy hell, Chad, I'm like fucking, my skin's flaking off right now. <laughs> it's getting, it's getting bad. I should really be going home, but the money calls, you know what I'm saying? We're still only at a thousand when we treat it, dude. When we reach two thousand, we're out, all right? At two thousand, no more. We get out, all right? That's the, that's the rule. Everyone knows the rule. Two thousand micro sieverts, time to dip. Man, my inventory is way too full for this shit, too. Let me sort by value so I can uh, ditch some of it in a minute. Can you do consecutive treatments? No. It only treats so much, and it, it can't treat more than you've gained. It can only treat a certain percentage of it off. So eventually you have to leave no matter what. Sort by value. I mean, the water flush is probably going to fuck off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to go to the bathroom. I'm getting too jumpy. <laughs> I thought something was coming out of a vent to grab me. <laughs> I don't remember that. Sorry about that. Oh man, chat. I got a fucking. I got. You ever get like a fucking. You ever get like a, a pimple right on your elbow before? Because this is the worst day of my life right now. I'm having, I'm having a bad day at this computer chair today. You ever just had that? Yeah. Question mark. People are question marking. Well, you, ain't you had a nice life? What, have you, ever had a paper, you ever had a paper cut before either, you fucking son of a bitch? Everyone get these guys. Get these guys to act like they, like, they apparently get to avoid having unfortunate, like, situations ever in their whole life. Like, take them out. Because you're pissing me off. 
Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. All right, research everything. Thermo generator. Wow, we researched this instantly. The device is an advanced thermocouple. When a thermal differential exists between the ends of the device, an electrical charge is produced. This device could be adapted to the rover to generate electrical power from waste heat. That's a lot. That is a huge generator. That actually also pays for itself. Uh, in value. But, like, here's the thing, chat. I don't need that much power. Because I don't have anything burning that much power. So there's no point putting it on and risking it having it break when it's that valuable for no reason. So that's like a we leave it in the garage for in case I need to use it, you know? But, like, there's no... I'm not burning enough power ever. My, my draw is nowhere near enough for that. And I don't have a good enough heat sink to justify installing a better gun, either. Because I've never found one. See, this is the thing that's con that concerns me, is this one. It's all question marks. I don't know it's, like, origin. That usually means it's something... Uh, Xenobiological in nature. If you guys know what I mean. Hang on, I don't like the engineering thing not showing me all the displays from here. What if something like turns off and I don't even notice? It? A rock? It's not another rock. Alright, and the first rock was actually pretty good selling. Okay. See, I want the dev that made this game to fucking make a sequel to this game with like allowing multiple planets and like going on the surface yourself okay the rover is cool i'd like to have the option to go down in a suit like as well for like indoor sections and stuff give it to me dev i will pay you fucking a lot of money for that all right so we got an unknown uh thing initial research has been inconclusive further analysis is required Preliminary. We don't actually have any idea what the fuck this thing is. At all. What sort of wacky shit are you doing to me, hell plan? What's your deal, hell plan? Can you use the garage? I mean, yeah, I will be using the garage eventually. I'm just trying to keep the storage as low as possible right now before we go. Storage battery. Ah, maximum charge rate. This one might actually be better than the other one was. Nah, it's actually not. The battery and charge thing worries me, because when I switched out a battery last time, I instantly lost my drone, and I'm not sure why that happened. I'll have to compare this in a bit. Because it really fucked me up. Because I didn't know if it was like I lost it because I switched destinations, or if I lost it because my drone was technically not powered properly. It just like switched off. Okay. We should probably send our ship back down, but as we get closer to like departure for this round, you know, I I, I don't want to like, you know, be a dongus and stop observing something that could possibly be incredibly dangerous on the ship, you know? Even though I am soaking radiation, not actually sending my rover down. Shoot the laser in the ship, shoot the ship. As long as we stay on this single-use cell J-34, well, that's being discarded immediately if the value is not good enough, because that basically means that's a one-use battery which is essentially trash compared to the nuclear fuel cells we find regularly. What's that say? Str yeah, we're gonna discard this. It's only worth like 2,000. What's that say? Strong atomic? Huh. Research facility is unable to determine the operating principles of this device. This device appears to interact directly with the strong atomic forces by one or more unknown mechanisms. Caution is advised. Uh, you tell me I uh, should I brought this thing on my ship? How much radiation am I soaking right now? Can't be more than how much I already soak on planet. You guys know what I'm saying? Just waiting for the day that I peek outside my window and see a monster. Just waiting. I'm just waiting for it. Just fucking waiting for it. Being able to close and open all these doors 
Seems like it's all signal simulator shit, dude. Like, who fucking knows? You know? We're gonna speed this up by helping it. Who fucking knows? You know? All this stuff could be a ton of just distractions, and there is no enemy. Yeah, but I would love to see this game, like, improved upon even more in, like, a sequel. I'd buy the shit out of that. This is such a cool concept for a game. That, like, simulate, like, that signal simulator-esque shit. Alright, uh, field projector. Whoa, holy hell, this thing is worth a mint! What the fuck? This device operates via entirely unknown means. Given, sus given sufficient power, device projects a short-range conformal field of unknown type. Field exhibits some properties of a solid object but has no mass. Field displays uh, in su significant electrical resistance and thermal insulation. Field decays over time upon interaction with matter or energy. Projector appears to continually rebuild field. This process requires substantially more power to bootstrap than to maintain. Base power consumption, that's a lot of power. That's so much I'd actually need to install better equipment. But that's finally something making it worth me installing some of my better equipment. So I'm actually gonna take it over here. Cause we have some stuff. I'm gonna take a look at my equipment that I have. Cause we also have a solar collector. But I don't think we have a good heat sink. Yeah, that's what it really comes down to. We don't have a good heat sink, so I need to check my maximum heat availability. Because we lost the armor that we had. Which means I do need an alternative option. Thermogenerator does have a heat sink. That means I also need a power field. Like, I need something to boost my power availability. Power situation... We only have total 10 power right now. If we add the solar collector, that's gonna add me 2.9. Power consumption. Look at the amount of consumption we have. We have nothing that builds it. We have an electrical store. We have storage. We could improve the storage. This will build, the thermo generator will build 19.9. Okay. Technically we could store the power and activate the generator when we're under attack. This is, the thermo generator will actually pay for itself. This will pay for itself. The good news is we can actually run all these tests because the game's smart. We can run all these tests on the ship, so we can actually make sure that like we're safe to do all this before we ship it out. And like, we can check and make sure like, oh, does this work? How much are we burning here? So I'm still not. I'm not seeing the the power here. It might be that we have power generation, but the battery is now, like, we don't have enough battery space. This only holds 50 units. This one holds 57. I think I need to put it higher in the priorities. Priorities idle to max. needs heat? No, it's already, it, it's fine on heat. The heat's not something we want more of. Hang on. What if I add you as well? I know this is not something I'm going to keep on. The solar collector's not very good. But I'm going to add the battery after this and see if the battery charges. Because if it holds a charge, then the battery might be something. But I don't want to have less than two slots of available storage space. But no, this is not the power situation thing is not updating for me. Which is weird. I don't know why that's not updating. It's sort of freaking me out that it's not updating. Well, let's see if it's going into here. Let's see if it's like a storage. Oh, solar collector, no sun. It needs heat. Thermogen needs heat to make power. 
I guess if we generate the field projector, it will make power for the filter. I don't know how that's going to work. Let's hang on. Okay, so this does charge over time. The solar collector, I don't think that's going to end up being something that we use. It's such a small gain. I don't think it's worth anything to hang on to. But I just might blow up my fucking entire thing, by the way, the field, this thing here. I'm gonna stop it if it goes up to red. It stabilizes at like yellow. Yeah, we need a better heat sink. We have a water thing. That is cool though. That is cool that it works. I mean, technically it works, but um. Where the fuck's the thermo generator? This generates 19.9 .9 per second. Heat when powered, heat sink when powered. I think we can get rid of the auxiliary generator now. I think we can get rid of the auxiliary generator if we're using the thermo generator. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Because as long as our battery has power, I think we can get rid of the thermo generator. Well, not the, th the, the auxiliary generator. Unless that cuts out our, our heat entirely, because currently that generator is what makes our heat. But if we turn on the field projector, we can actually turn on the thermo generator, like, immediately. And that might keep us just at entry of yellow by getting rid of the thermo generator. But our power situation is atrocious. Yeah, I don't know if we have enough. We need a better generator. That This thing is so high power, I don't think we can do it yet. It uses so much. Like, the only way we could use this thing is by cutting our burst laser and a bunch of our other equipment in real time as we go. It's just not worth it yet. It's really high value, but it is not worth hanging on to on the ship. Well, not, 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 on, the, not on the thing. The thermo generator, on the other hand, uh, you know, it's fine. Oh no, I didn't want to uninstall it. Thermo generator will leave on instead of the auxiliary. Just gonna make sure that like the power is looking okay. Power situation, bad. Why is it bad now? Do I actually need the auxiliary? Do I need, is that just how bad our power, like, production is? Do I need the auxiliary as well? So at that point, I'll take out the thermo generator again. Not enough heat. Well, I mean, once we're down there, the heat goes up, which is why I, it's sort of hard to tell, because the, the heat goes up once we're down there. Whatever, two slots is fine. But if I don't need the thermo generator, I'm not going to risk having it on. So I'm going to take it off once again and just see how our store, how everything's looking at then. With like the extra battery. See from there. God, this is cool though. I like this a lot. How about no? Good. This is fine. I'd rather have the storage space so I can bring more up right now. All right, let's move all this other stuff back to like storage base. We'll keep this in mind. We'll we'll leave these three things in here. There's a chance we can get that to work, but we just need better. We just need better. Uh, we need a, we need a higher power generator to support the fucking array. You don't need two batteries. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm probably gonna take out the reserve one. Yeah, this is objectively better than that one's. Last time I took this out, uh, my ship died. So, with any luck, ha, 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 ha. Last time I launched this thing without this item, it blew up uh, and lo I lost the game. Because of it. Hi. Hee <laughs> hee. 
to check. Are you, like, powered and alive? It says it's alive. Launch. Get back down there. Sure would be sad if we died, or if it died now. Hey, I mean, we- it's- it's important to understand the things. So that- that fucking field generator, that- that- oh my god, the micro are starting to get up there, chat. You still live? It's been like three hours. I mean, most streamers stream for longer than three hours, man. If you want me to wrap up, though, I- I can go if you want me to leave. Drink some vodka, said someone before they were banned because the word drink is banned. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be a lot worse, chat. We could already be dead. But yet, here we are, still alive. Think about that. It could be worse. We're not dead. That's our destination. We're going to that thing. We're taking these mountain ranges all the way there, baby. Mark my words. Let's tango. This may be one of our last trips this run because the micro sieverts are starting to spike. <laughs> we might be. Ooh, that's a surface plane. You know, that would have been helpful for uh, dissipating the heat of our machine. We still need a better power system. We need, like, nuclear fission. This is an item. If I can get close enough to it without fucking, like, falling into a hole, this is an item. Looks like it's a crashed drone. Or the thing that shot at me that first time. Hey, guys, would you believe it if I just told you I got jump-scared by my own fucking cursor? Uh-oh. One second. There we go. Ah, get up there! You ain't giving up on me yet! Don't quit on me! Fight! I am getting up it. It's taking a while, but I'm slowly fluttering my way up this thing. It's like swimming. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Can't believe we've never found anything to improve our mobility. What the hell? Fucking rover really is not good at fucking maneuvering. Don't worry, chat. Worst case is we die and we have a full inventory of shit to sh fucking sell. Speaking of dying, I should speed up. I'm being shot at currently by a monster from. I have to get to that thing. Look at that thing. Hey. Oh, you're gonna zap me? Oh, you're gonna fucking. Oh, you're gonna hurt my surface plate on top of it? Oh, you dick. He fucked up my video camera. Oh, fuck you. I missed all those shots that time. It missed those ones. One more, one more run around and you're dead! Boy! I say one more, I meant like one more, one more. This is like such a bad spot for a fight. Can't see shit with this fucking camera! Can't believe you hit my video camera! How is this thing still alive? Gotcha, motherfucker! Yeah, fuck you! Takes a lot more than that to kill an old crack shot tomato. Chat, imagine a world where I I'm gonna keep pushing forward to this thing, okay? Even though I should go back, I still have one more inventory slot. No, I should stop right here. 
We're gonna have to do one more trip. It's too dangerous. Recall. It's way too dangerous. If we lose our video camera, we can't play anymore. We lose the game if we lose the video camera. <laughs> We'd have to repair it. Oh, that'd be so bad. Unfortunately, it's only yellow, so we can still repair it properly. It's not, like, it's still functional. Whoa, does it actually show a camera? For the garage terminal? Oh, no, I think it's just, like, it's cool looking. It's fancy. We're almost full on inventory. Meaning, uh, the next best thing to do is start checking what we'd want to dump from the cargo. In the event that we need to get rid of some stuff. Because we are full on this. Sort by value. These things are basically trash. The water flush and pulse laser in rack one are not good. Uh, water flush is only worth like 2.9 and it's not a very good item. Uh, for cooling. We don't really need to cool. Yeah. Pulse laser as well. Those two will probably be the first things to go. Anything below like 2,000, like 3,000 seems like something we want to like ditch. Okay, so I'm going to repair the surface plate before I, uh, you know, do it. Move those out of the way. I think I can, I feel like I can repair the surface plate, even without it being fully understood by me. Hopefully. Catastrophic failure, 60%. No. Uh, I guess, I'm guessing the repair will be easier once it's researched properly. That surface plate could end up being really good. I don't want to lose it. I should probably check how much radiation I'm soaking. It's been a little bit. Probably gonna check that right now again. Uh, how am I doing, Doc? If I'm breaking 2,000 minus the, um, like, after a fucking medical correction. Yo, we're still at, like, 1,200. We're good. Once we reach 2,000, we bug out. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting there. So, we got a mineral. Something else I don't know. This could be another slab situation on our hands. What the hell's this thing, then? I gotta know. I gotta know. Chad, I grabbed you by the shoulders. I gotta know. I gotta know. I start shaking you hard. We gotta find out what it is, chat. I shake you again. We gotta fucking know, dude. Bind you? Someone says that one of these times and there is something behind me and I'm gonna ban you. You understand that? Because that's not funny. Don't touch me. Chat, look, all right? I, I brush off the dust off your shoulder. I fucking like pat you on the back. Maybe we've just been out here a little too long soaking in all this radiation. Maybe I've got a little, maybe I'm just getting a little bit stir crazy, you know? And then I stab you in the chest with a knife. <laughs> Throw you to the ground. You've been keeping it from me, haven't you? Yeah, you've been, you've been hiding the slab from me, haven't you? Yeah, you, you up to something? I fucking walk over to the engineering room, but first I drag your body, I drag your body all the way to cargo, I throw you down on the ground. Ah, you're screaming, but there's no one that's gonna help you now. There's no one that's gonna help you now, Jet. Tell me where the slab is, or I open the airlock. Tell me where the slab is, no, Jet, no. Think. Airlock's still open. How would you know that? You're dead. Every
Everything's fine now, Jet. Everything's fine now. Everything's fine now. Let's get back to work. Everything's fine. Video imager, a new camera system? In immediate report, further research reveals the device generates an output that can be coherently interpreted as a video signal. Preliminary conclusion, object as an imaging device. Could it be better than my last one? Perhaps? Dude, after my, almost, after my last camera almost broke, that sounds like a great fucking find. I'd love a 480p camera, yeah. Yeah, we've been, we treated ourselves too recently. We got another archaeological slab now. That's good after you guys fucked up the last one. That's good to know. After what you guys, after, after you assholes, I had to get rid of you because you kept eating all the fucking, like, archaeological finds. That's why I fucking sent you into space. I didn't want to do it, but you guys kept making me. Prepare the microphone. Prepare the power controller. Oh, the burst laser's damaged and it's gonna fucking... Oh, please do not catastrophically break. I'll cry at the burst... The burst laser's actually really good, is the thing. I'll be really disappointed if the burst laser breaks. I would... I would cry. Oh god, it's coming again! Yo, mirrored armor? Yo. I'd handle one of those. Yes, I would. Power controller. Install. Video camera. Install. Maximum priority. Okay. So, what do we got over here? We can actually move the mirror thing over right away, because uh, I need to eyeball that in the garage. Was that a tube that we researched? Mirrored armor. So, how much how much is going to take the... Oh, well, I mean, I'm not wearing it otherwise. Mirrored armor. That's a lot of laser protection. All right, chat. 22% chance we succeed. Otherwise, it's essentially garbage. So let's ride. Might as well. If it got shot once, it would be totaled anyway. So, like, might as well. Give it a go. All right. All right. Alright. Sorry to be booting. That's good. That's good. Why, uh, why did it turn off at all? Is a good question, I think, to ask right about now. It failed. We do it again. Another 22% chance. We keep trying until it's either a catastrophic failure or it fixes itself. It's rats, right? No, 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 no. Right? Radiation ain't real. Ask the auto doc. That of the autodocs, uh, medical servos have been compromised due to increased radiation. Which is currently, I'm at almost 1400 microsieverts right now. Okay, the armor was destroyed. Well, I didn't want it anyways! I thought that armor was stupid. What do we got here? Thermal imager. Thermal imagery. We are installing that. Fluid pump circulating a thin liquid through a series of passages surrounding an optical device with dark lenses. Analysis concludes the device is an actively cooled thermal ballometer operating as a video camera sensitive around... Oh, baby. Infrared tube. Oh, my God. Sample is a hollow cylinder of igneous stone. The inner and outer surfaces are inscribed with symbols in an approximate hexagonal array. Regular tool marks indicate evidence of artificial shaping. 
Yeah, that's that's going right into the cargo hold. We're going to dump the water flusher for that. We are going to install the thermal imager. We may even install it in the spot of the video kit. That's a high tier fucking item. Let's see what this looks like in comparison to the original. Okay. Because a thermal imager, dude. Bro. Fair power production. Let's see this on the big screen. This might be good stuff. It's not currently on right now, but don't worry, it will be in a second. Okay, I like that. Green. Green. You're ready to launch. Get down there. And while that's happening, we are disposing of the water flusher and the pulse laser. To make space for the inscribed tube. We're also disposing... No, we got we got to keep a backup video camera in case it actually breaks. That'd be so bad. And we can also get rid of the reserve battery now. Because our other battery works fine. How's my radiation? Tell it to me straight, Doc. Tell it to me straight. I'm good. White blood cell count remarkably reduced. Damage to bone marrow. Ah, uh, oh, that's not. I'm only moderate. When it says we're extremely irradiated, we go home. You know, that's the thing. Only when the game says extreme, you know? Now then. Let's get to that fucking pyramid. Ah, uh, my life support just went offline. That's good. I like that. I like it when life support goes offline as my turret, as my rover is landing. What caused it? Ah, oh, it's just a little fritz. Uh, it's all the radiation. Chat. It's all the radiation. Uh, it's currently messing with all the systems. See? Nothing's pro no problems here. No problems in storage either, if you guys were wondering. Nothing wrong. There have been any problems in storage since I got rid of those that screaming little bastard that I had to stab five times in the neck uh, to get them off of my ship. You know, visually, thermal imagers not that much better than the old one, but I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to see enemies with this thing. It's gonna glow them up real good. That's what I'm hoping for. The suit keeps scaring me. Yeah, it scares me too. I'm being shot at. Thermally, I know that's coming from that way. How do you guys feel about cliff racing? I'm not gonna fight that guy. I think there's a small crevice. And I can't cross this way. But I can't go here. I just got- guys, I gotta get to that fucking pyramid. Alright, note to self. Good thing we didn't get rid of the fucking, uh, thing, because these thermals aren't that great. You know, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm gonna be honest, these thermals, they're not very good. Unless that's an enemy. If that's an enemy, it did really good. But if it ain't, then it didn't do very well. Alright, so we're here at the pyramid now, death. What does that, uh, what does that mean for me? Come on, give me, uh, give me something here. Something to work with. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait. You better be giving me an item. I made a, I took a long trip to get here. Object nearby. Must have been this corner. That or it's right in the center here. That or it's in the middle and I need to, like, find a way to get in there. the hell? That's a cliff. I'm not getting over that way. I 
It's almost like a door, doesn't it? Not seeing the object here. I can't get to it. If it's like here. Ah! I shot that over there. Thermals are not very good at visualizing whatever's attacking me. I can't see them for shit. I'm just gonna try to ignore the sounds of things shooting at me. I also definitely can't get whatever that object is. It looks like it's actually in the middle of this place. But I don't see a fucking door. You guys see a door? Because whenever I get near the fucking edge... Whoa, hey, hey, hey! Hey! I opened! Give me the item. Give it to me. Give it to me, there's a fucking tank coming at me! Give it to me! It's been a pleasure, dipshit! It really has! But I'll see you in the future! Sha! We're gonna reset our landing zone. Cause that place is nothing. He damaged this thing to fucking smithereens. There were more items? I didn't see more items. Uh... He would have probably dropped an item. But it's not worth the damage I would have incurred doing it, probably. Actually, no, it probably is. I can try relanding there and go for him. I might. I actually might. But that camera sucks. I'm switching it back out for the not thermal one. I, that, that was not... That was not helpful. Uh... Use both? Why? I don't think I need both. I think one is fine. So we'll reinstall the video camera. I think that's just better. Both may give you a cleaner image. No! Me no think that. Hey, man. Let's take a look at this horribly damaged piece of shit you got. Real quick, it's probably gonna take like an eon to test. Send you to the garage. You can put it up on the battery display? I want the space. Oh, this thing is fucking so obliterated, chat. We will be here. Oh wait, no, it's moving a little bit faster now. So what are you, anyways? Sometimes it just takes a minute. 90%, let's see what this is. Electronic. Looks like it's a fucking, it's some sort of hard drive. Ugh, fine, I'll install both. All right, chat, but when one of them fucking breaks, when we lose both in one go, I'm gonna blame you, all right? I'm gonna blame you for that one. Water flush 2.0! We're gonna go back down to exactly where we were. We should be safe to land there, because I was pretty- I was nowhere near that fucking pyramid by the time I pulled out. And if we die, that was a sad death for the rover. But we get to live and bring all the stuff back home. So, like, what do we really lose, you know? We're like dying anyways. It's pretty much time for us to depart on this trip, you know? Okay, so, um, thermal is now gonna be this one. Video camera will be this one. Alright. Now, we can see in two kinds. 12k camera though it is an expensive camera for how little it did for me you know that's the thing that like sticks out to me the most we might get shot to shit just landing this might be like a serious fucking mess up he got pretty steep there all right we just stay mobile try to get around the corner as quickly as we can we should be able to kill this tank 
make it shot out of the sky right now. Oh, yep. That's not the one that was shooting at me, though. Look like... We want to be in this section. I don't see the tank even here. Did he, like, fall into a cliff? He is. Looks like he fell into a ditch. Well, I'm gonna grab everything then. I sort of missed the targeting thing now. There it is. Looks like he fell into a ditch. Yeah, fuck him, dude. This is probably damage too. Power store. Yeah, it's all broken, but there is still more stuff. They're all broken. He fucking hit everything, dude. Fuck this guy, dude! You kidding me with this? And I still have more space! Well, when it comes down to it, I'd probably ditch this power storage thing first just because that's probably not going to end up being worth very much. They're all damaged. They're all gonna be like worthless in research. We're looking for like stuff that's all question marks because that's a high chance of being like an alien piece of like shit power plant. All right, let's pull them out and then we're gonna reset our position. I'm not gonna bring that thing up with me. They're all broken. Son of a bitch. Fuck that guy. I can't believe that I went all the way out here, opened this gigantic fucking treasure trove and some asshole blew up everything. What if that alien in that fucking question mark box was alive? And now he's dead. Because of a robot. Can you go into more temples now? Maybe. That was just the first one that seemed like really different. Who knows, maybe we could have gone to all of them. Med Bay scared me for a second. It scares me every time I go in it. Don't worry, it's not just you. It scares me literally every time I walk in here. I get like a little jump scare. All right, the ship's obviously coming into range because we're lagging. We'll just hang out here. All right, how's, it, how's this thing going? Hey, this one's almost done. Data storage. Looks like it's a it's a drive of some kind. I mean, it's gonna be worthless. Like most of the stuff is gonna be worthless as a result of how broken it is. Like people don't people aren't gonna buy like broken electronics, dude. It's only worth four thousand because of it. Industrial processing halted. Reason unknown. Large scale starvation probable. Project progress halted. Imperative. Restart assessing damage. Uh, all right. That's not. What I was expecting, per se. Oh, broken. And fuck that guy. Dude, we're gonna be here for a thousand years, by the way, repairing all these. We're gonna start with this one, though. We're gonna have to go in, like, order, because I need to make sure what they are before I continue researching them. Well, I'm gonna try to repair all these items. Like, the ones... Like, this wafer is only worth 4k like this. I'm going to fucking flip the coin and try to get this to work okay into like functional order so that i can make more money off of it. 22 percent if i had a nickel for every time i did 20 percent wins and shit dude this is like nothing go for it maximum power give me like a ten thousand dollar fucking thing Go, 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 go! Away, forever. I wanted you to leave. I didn't like you. This one is taking a long time. This is taking so long, it may never, ever finish chat. This was, like, the big thing, probably, in this fucking pyramid, and it's completely busted beyond all repair. 
We'll just let them passively slowly go, and I'll just send the rover back down. But we're sending the rover down somewhere new. Uh, we're going to actually re reset the positioning because um, it is just going to die if it lands where it's supposed to land. So go ahead and go back to where you're supposed to be. There you go. There's nothing else down there. What if they're always broken? No way. It got hit by a missile. We got like a guy shooting in there like an asshole. That's what happened. Hey, this power plant's already almost like identified though. Maybe they'll come, maybe they'll be like salvageable. One or two of them. I wonder what this color of the, are we? Oh, I thought we were getting shot at already. What the color, color of the surface is like once we get radiation proof cameras? I bet they exist. I like red corners creeping up. What do you mean red corners creeping up? What do you what do you mean when you say that? Red corners creeping up. We're still at 1500. Don't worry, chat. Let's just Tone that back down to nice 1500 Michael, Mike, Mike, Tri Mike, Michael Sieverts. Come on. Whoa! Oh, that was the ship landing. <laughs> that scares me every time. So bad. Uh, so, so bad. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, get a move on. Hold up here. Thermal imager on this one. So keep the survey map on that. We don't really need that much like space. This gives the thermal imager enough visuals that I can actually see something with the thermals if I need to. You know, that's better overall for like the future. This actually does let you see like man, well, alien made structures a lot easier. The question is, how did I open those doors last time? I have no idea what prompted that, like, tomb thing to open. Also, what the hell's this? I don't remember seeing- I don't remember going up to this last time. I think I went, went right by this thing. Uh... Alright, this is gonna give me an alien parasite. Without a fucking doubt, this one's an alien. <laughs> Oh, that's actually a heavily damaged laser. Of course it's damaged. Everything's damaged. It's all unusable all the time. I would have been convinced that was like a thing-like monster. There's a robot up here. I can s literally sense it with my brain. It's so obvious. Also, yeah, I guess the thermals are mainly just used for- Why is everything so damaged? Who was the asshole who was shooting everything? Wait a minute, I actually think I see him. Who's that guy? Hey! Hey, you! Hey! You dead? You're dead. I get, I, I get the feeling I'm the asshole now that shot this one. If this one's damaged, I did that. Nope. I'm just guarding that. Honestly, I'm just guarding both of these. They're too, way too damaged to justify record, like repairing at this point. All right, so the thermal is honestly better used just to identify like places of interest because it actually they all give off a little bit of heat. It's a lot easier to see where I'm going. Alright. Another thermal thing. Let's go over to this big ass fucking thing. It says we've been over there though. We're gonna go over here. 
It says I've been over that technique. I want to see what that j big fucking spire is before the radiation kills me. See that thing look over the mountainside? Also, I think this is an evil robot. Oh. This is also something that looks like it would kill me. Like an alien artifact that would destroy my life. But, hey, whatever. I think the red is there again. Chat, you guys are fucking so paranoid, and it's pissing me off. You guys don't understand. Discard the mechanical one. We're looking for stuff with all question marks. Those are like the most valuable things. I, I know that like a mile away. Those are the most exotic things. We'll hang on to two thermals for now. Until I've gotten to Weirdo Spire of Death, which looks to be a fucking thousand miles away. Is that a bad hill? Can I traverse this? I can't. That's a cliff, though. You can't just get to those spires. They go around a little bit. Hmm, I think I've been here. I mean, I definitely have, because the map's updated there. Tomato, please, we care about you. Don't you want more money? Shut up! Get the hell away from me! Don't you want more money? I didn't realize you wanted to die poor! I didn't realize you wanted to die so poor! Now shut up and help me get to that city of gold on the horizon! Recall here, we'll continue the journey when we get back. I gotta get into the auto dock, I feel my skin melting! <sighs> How are you guys even- who am I even talking to? I, I thought I flushed you guys into the void! <laughs> my micro are starting to get awfully high! You guys don't understand. Okay, you can tell the ship's coming back now. So what even are you? It's a sensor. We're gonna be running these tests for a long time. Environmental parameters. Power plant. These are gonna be running tests for fucking ever. They're all so damaged. So, so damaged. Like, what's even the point? I want this thing to get to three so I know what it is and I might throw it out. Hey man, why'd that sound like knocking and bumping when you came in? Why'd you make that sound? It's cool, there's nothing happening. Okay, uh, unload. Yeah, thanks. I don't think I care what you are. The power plant one's already at phase three, but this is just a random mechanical thing. I'm throwing it out. I know it's at like 97%, but I don't think anything that it becomes is going to matter. I'm hawking this specifically. The other two, I'm gonna continue researching, no problem. But um, yeah, look at this one. This one I instantly fucking ID. Heat sink, a gargantuan heat sink. Well, not really gargantuan, but like, you know, it's a heat sink. It's not even that valuable, actually. It's sort of just lame. We'll leave it in there in the garage. That's like an easy attachment. These two are the two that are important. Okay. Thermal research already ID'd. It's another fucking water flush. I'm flushing it. <laughs> right now. Get out. What about you? We don't know. This one's new. What are you? Preliminary report to another sensor. Initial research has determined the device's signal output varies on environmental parameters. We got two of these things now. Okay, well that's happening. You get back down there, you're not done working. Oh, 
God, I'm gonna be so rich if I survive, Chad. We're gonna have so much money at the end of this fucking job as long as you guys don't screw it up again. You know what I'm saying? As long as you guys keep your goddamn mouth shut and don't talk about the slab no more, we can get along. I don't even want to hear you breathe anymore. You understand? I said, do you understand? Audio sensor. Further research reveals this device responds to changes in atmospheric pressure with an output that can be coherently interpreted as an audio signal. I see. It's a blue yeti pog. Yeah, chat. My storage terminal has gone offline. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why is that? What was that sound? That was no. That was definitely the sound of us landing. Okay, so I gotta take you to like. I gotta actually go to the engine to fix that one. All right. No problem. No problem. Your ship is falling apart. It's all the radiation, Chad. But at least we... Hey, you know what's scarier? Not knowing what the problem is. You know? <laughs> That's a lot scarier, not knowing. You know what I mean? So you guys, stop panicking. I got this. Just gotta find my way to that crystal kingdom over there. Don't worry, we're gonna get to that gigantic spiral, like that spire over there, and make a billion million dollars. Okay? See that way over there? It's not real. Oh, it's real. And it's the last stop on our fucking adventure. We just have to get there. One last job, Arthur! One last job! Get there, make the money! Alright, then it's Space Mangoes! Arthur. I'm being shot at! Think you're so fucking good. We'll be back. Alright, this microphone wasn't worth shit. So we're just gonna dump that in the trash bin where it belongs. Well, hang on to it for now because we have the space. Power plant, you almost done there? I don't mind you finishing. Place current mic? Oh, I will be. I will be. Chat, are you guys also. I I can't hear too well anymore. I hear a lot of like fucking. You know, I'm hearing a lot of that right now on the ship. And I don't know why. You know? I don't know what it is, chat. You know? This sort of like fucking sound all the time. Go to the garage. You know? You guys are acting like I am so irradiated. Let me like give you guys some help here, alright? If you're gonna like fucking do that, like, this guy's fucking radiated so bad I can't even fucking tell what's going on anymore. Let me help you out. Just 
just all the time. Eee! Eee! We're fine. We're fine. Nothing's wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong, Chad. There's nothing wrong. I don't know why it just turns to white. There's nothing wrong. Okay. Everything's cool. You guys are cool, right? You're not gonna make a. You're not gonna, like, embarrass me, are you? Uninstall this shitty microphone. The old one's gotta go. We use new microphone now. Oh, yeah. New microphone in there. No, I gotta take it out myself manually. New microphone. New microphone. Auxiliary generator, please. You need to be repaired. Everything needs to be repaired, in fact. Everything is broken. Oh my god. Chat, if the generators break, if everything starts to like break down, chat. Stuff's gonna start getting pretty dicey in the uh, in the ship. All right, like I've got a good amount of stuff on me. I'm not that fucking desperate to die and lose everything. We got we're gonna dump out this microphone. I don't even care if the other one barely works. We're throwing that one out. We don't have enough space. Okay. We don't have enough space. What the hell did he run into? A point blank tank shot me. There's also a plane flying around at the same time. Give me that auxiliary. Auxiliary is fixed. That can be reinstalled. The thermal imager needs to be repaired. Survey map also needs to be repaired. Yes. Storage battery will probably break during this video camera. Okay. Thermal imager. A lot of these things are at a very high risk of just breaking completely. Which isn't great. This is going to be our chat. This descent might be our last one on this run. Because, um... Because all I look, all I'm saying is that we are. I didn't want to admit it, but I, uh, I'm tasting iron. <laughs> I'm tasting like iron and sulfur, and uh, it's starting to get worse. Gimme. That storage battery, baby. Hell yeah. Survey map's a guarantee. The thermal imager worries me. The red is coming. I actually have not been able to see the red. Uh, it's not even like a joke. I really don't see the red. You guys are actually going crazy on that one. I don't see the red. Survey map, install it. Install the survey map. What time is it right now? I feel like I've been playing this game for eons, but I don't want to stop playing. What the hell? It's fun. All right. Colorblind. I'm not colorblind. All right, install the video camera and give me that thermal. There goes twelve thousand dollars. Chat, that just well, that just means chat. We gotta go back in there. We gotta get back in there. We just lost 12k dollars. We gotta get back in there. We're gonna need to make some more money. We gotta go back in. One last job. One last job. I got an idea. Okay. I got an idea, and you guys ain't gonna like it, because you never like it. They want to fight, I'll give him a fucking fight. Oh, we'll give him a fight, Chet. We're gonna give him a fight. They're never gonna forget. All right. Uninstall the burst laser. Install the rocket array. We're gonna give them all out war if that's what they want, Chet. 
if that's what they want. I don't honestly know where the rocket array even goes. Science computer's offline. Of course it's fucking offline. I'm curious if I could still leave the lasers on. Uh, who cares if the science... Actually, it is scanning things right now. Probably want it online. I think I can leave both on. I think I'm gonna leave both installed. Alright. Targeting computer? Chad, at what point am I fucking... At what... It's not overkill. I agree, it's not overkill. Okay. But... Here's the problem. Is, um... I have no idea how the fuck all these systems are gonna interact with each other. That's the main thing. Oh, hey, whatever. Guided missiles? I don't think you guys think... I don't know if you guys... I don't think that's how the targeting has worked so far. It seems like targeting is not ever really auto-targeted onto anything, ever. I've had to manually steer auto- like, the targeting reticle myself, every time. Launch it! Get me down there! I'll kill them all! Let's go. We're gonna land on top of one of them, and they're probably gonna kill me. And or I'm gonna land on top of a, a place? Oh, cool, fission reactor. That'd be a lot better if it wasn't completely broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send that fission reactor over to the garage, and we're just gonna, you know, just give it a little cha-ching and see if maybe we can get that bad boy into mint condition like it belongs, like it should be, and that might be helpful. And while the ship is landing, I'm gonna run the auto dock. I don't know when I might need another bit of. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like, I think my tongue's falling off now. Yeah. Yeah, I think my tongue's falling off. Chat. Okay. Uh, rocket array is on, manipulator arms, power controller is still broken a little bit, I forgot about that. Murdered now. I don't think we're gonna make it to the ground chat. Oh, you fucking ass. Fuck you! There's like five. I would rather die! I think I won. I didn't win. Come back to me, baby. 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 You coming back to me, baby? Oh, it's coming back to me. Okay. Uh, Chad, I think it's time to cut our losses on this character. Um, we did some good stuff on this guy. But, um, I think I'm at the end of my character's survival chances. The radiation has gotten, quite frankly, a little crazy. <laughs> Jump off the airlock. No, we're gonna bring all this stuff back and sell it. Chad? We did a last ditch effort to get down there and, you know, try a thing. Didn't work out. But we got a lot of other stuff. I'd like this sensor to finish. This has been researching for so long. We gotta finish that before we leave. We, we, we might be able to make some extra money off of that. Did this ever repair properly? I get the feeling it got destroyed. Huh. In the chaos. Hey, man. How you doing, baby? You feeling okay? It looks like you lost... Uh... Your entire... Electrical system. Yeah, it's all gone. Well... We have no camera. The ship's dead. Oh. That's so... Fucking typical. Everything in this shit fucking sucks. Everything breaks all the time. Airlock time, airlock time. Not airlock time, we're gonna go home time. 
Just tell the ship to take us back home. We can go to uh, like exit trajectory and make a ton of money. And sell all these alien husks and shit, chat. We're not going home. We're not gonna like fucking... We're gonna identify what this thing is. Then we're going home. Gonna end the stream after? I don't know. I might do another run. This is a lot of fun. This game. I might do one more run. I actually probably will do one more run. Because I feel like I now know a lot more than I knew last time for it. I think I'm going to do one more. Yeah, we'll do one more. We're going to do one more. Because... Oh, I actually do see the red now. Uh, wrap up. <laughs> wrap up on the research there. Wrap up. Wrap up. Time to, time to wrap this up. What's up, Tomato Copy Vegeta Saga Gaming? Really love your React stream, if you know what I mean. I don't even know what the first part meant. I don't even know what the first part meant. Unless you mean my name is Tomato, and there probably was at least one point where Saiyan in the Vegeta Saga was called, like... Like... Tomat, or something. That's very possible. It's actually extremely possible that at one point they were like, oh, dude, what about Tomat? You know? What about, what about Tomat? Because, I mean, they made Raditz. I don't even know what Nappa's supposed to be, but Vegeta was supposed to be vegetable. The naming conventions for Dragon Ball were frankly sad and a little embarrassing. Nappa cabbage? Ah, uh, yeah. I like Pickle Man. Yeah, everyone remember they actually it was a cut it was cut content. Uh but there used to be a guy there was a Saiyan called Pickle. He um they actually cut him from the show because Goku murdered him so bad. He showed up before Raditz and Goku walked right up to him, dude, and he broke his fucking neck. It was like fucking man of steel shit, except there was no fighting back. It was a scream. And Pickle said, Please, God no, and then Goku said, I'm the main character. He he, and then he broke his neck, like fucking extremely violently, in front of Gohan. That's why Gohan ended up being so fucked up forever. Who is Piccolo then? Oh, that's an instrument. That's an instrument, idiot. Okay, this detector is taking a thousand years. I think it's time to go, chat. The radiation is getting so bad, I'm starting to struggle to breathe. So I think the last thing we'll do is hop in the EVA suit before I, before we start the next run. Okay, I'll hop in an EVA suit, and I'll just take a peek outside, see if there's anything out there. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll find like an artifact stuck to the bottom of my ship, you know? Do you plan on going back to Cataclysm? You've asked me that twice in a paragraph message, so I'm not answering it now, I'm sorry. Uh, if I don't, if I don't read your message and respond to it the first time, usually that means I saw it and it was just a long message and I've already answered it. So odds are the answer is somewhere out there. Because I've already answered that question multiple times. I believe in you. But adding me multiple times with the question is the quickest way to make sure I'm probably not going to answer it. Or at least it won't be an answer you're going to enjoy. Sorry. Everything's looking clean here. Let's check the jet engines real quick. Oh, this is fucking spooky. I don't like being out here, dude. I don't like being out here. Engines are fine. Everything's fine. All right. Chet, let's get back inside and go home. All right? Yeah? Let's just go home. Okay. All right. No problemo. Horror elements like Diving Bell would be great in this game. Yeah, this game, I mean, I know for a fact, chat, I'll, I can tell you this, like, I don't want to, like, spoil things, but I know for a fact something can get onto the ship. All right, that... This isn't Signal Simulator. I know for a fucking complete 100% fact it is possible in this game. 
Okay. I haven't seen it, but I do know for a fact it's possible. Is this house is doing? Are we almost done here? We're never gonna be done here. It's time to go. Chad, it's time to pack up. I've got- I've shaved four, fucking like 80 years off my life with this. Let's exit orbit and end the expedition. We're going to Megadon Station. Take us 17 days to get there. Let's ride. Brace for thrust! Epilogue for Carter Jordan. Carter Jordan conducted a major exploration of the planet's surface, covering a large quantity of ground. He recorded many details of the terrain, describing an island dominating the explore explored surface of the lifeless planet. The use of... He looted 28 derelicts and discovered and recovered 21 alien artifacts from the surface. He made extensive use of Vulture's research lab, advancing the human state of understanding of several alien technologies. He focused his studies of alien engineering on mechanical devices and thermal technologies. The most valuable of the items recovered was a field projector valued at 13,000 credits. In all, his collected treasures were worth a total of 100,000 credits. In the course of his expedition, he exposed himself to a dangerous dose of hard radiation. With a portion of the wealth he raised from the sale of the first few alien artifacts, Carter Jordan founded a successful merchant house. The prestige of being the sole source of further alien artifacts grants him an exclusive reputation, which he and his agents use to good advantage trading in all manner of exotic goods. Business is excellent. Some rumors say he is using his profits to set up for another expedition, while others say that the location of the secret world he discovered might be for sale for the right price. That's like $50 we made. Well, compared to my other characters, I would say that Carter Jordan is the best if it wasn't for Leo Milosklava, who was my test character. And I will not spoil what I did to get my score that high. Let me turn off the feed and restart the game. We're doing another run. We're doing, we're doing one more, chat. Cheated. Nah, I found something, chat, that you wouldn't want to know, okay? I found something that you wouldn't want to know. Okay? I found something in there. In space. That would make you literally piss your pants. I'm playing as Montel Boyd on the Discovery. More valuable than the field projector? Yes. And more deadly. So I'm out in the armpit of nowhere when the proximity alarm lights up this huge chunk of rock right when there's no reason for it right where there's no reason for it to be. Not a gravity well for days in any direction. Dodge the big chunk. Eh, hang on. Dodge the big chunk. Uh, but there was a bunch of gravel around it. Ripped the starboard wing up all to hell. Had to break out the emergency kit to stop atmosphere leaking the cargo airlock. Went back to check it out. Not a hint of anything worth the fuel cost to drag it back. Figures getting things fixed at the series cost me two grand I can't really spare. Things are not looking up. Things are looking up. Spotted derelict hull. Picked over, but not completely. All right, so it substituted some of the things. But basically, we found this person. We were meeting this person. And like, hey, I found this weird fucking planet. I found this weird fucking planet. I found this weird planet. You should go to it. And I say, I need fucking $2,000. I'm going to go to it. And now I've gone to it. Wait a minute, music player. I like the completely eerie silence of this game much more. Hold up. Let's take the uh, turret to the garage. We're gonna pull out the compass again. No one needs that thing. We're gonna pull out some of the basics. Don't need them! Don't need them! Don't need them. We 
don't need them. Turn on sea shanty? No. I don't think I will. Status display, uninstall, compass, uninstall. There we go. That helps clear out some of the uh, inventory. Now we got five slots for our work, chat. Let's get this bad boy launched. Get that down there. All right, to work. Uh, auxiliary generator. Leave that visible. Uh, right. Actually, I guess we want to leave that off till we need it. Okay. Microphone, survey map, reserve battery. All right. Should be good. Yeah, we got everything. Okay. I'll leave the microphone displaying just in case. All right, Chad, look at this. A beautiful day on Green Hell. Planet Green Hell. I can see the red. He's literally dying, Chad. No, we're fine. Look, Chad, we're like good. We have like zero micro sieverts on this character. So stop making me panic and help me like look for like weird looking map structures as we land. All right, because I'm bummed I didn't get to Death City. Okay, I'd like to, I'd like to get there this time. Hope we don't get like an island map again. Mountains. Oh, we got a lot of stuff out here. We got oodles of trash to explore around these parts, Chet. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Remember, we don't have a gun. So, um, we better avoid any and all conflict. Because if we get in a fight, uh, stuff's gonna look pretty dire. Give it here. Give it here. Come on, give it here. We're looking for stuff like that, dude. Alright, we wanna- we're, We know a lot more about items now and what drops from what, okay? And that means we wanna be looking for all the stuff that's big lines of question marks with very little additional context, okay? Then again, I guess all of them might be like that until we start to research some of it. Yeah, they might all be like that for now. I think it narrows down as we do more. So we'll just want to be careful. Get enough of something and we'll be able to sort of narrow down the fields and specialize in what we want to bring in. IV-8, isn't that a real isotope? Look, look. Nerd. All right, you want to keep fucking making a fool of yourself in my chat, or do you want to fucking shut your mouth and think that it just says silly si Hang on, the life support just turned off. One minute, chat. One moment, sir. Grab the nerd? Yeah, you guys can grab him. I won't get mad if you grab him. And like throw him. Like hard. Stab him. No, I said grab him. Alright. Back to it. Now I'm looking for good shit. Okay? I'm very good at identifying good shit. That's good shit. I know it. Whatever's over there is bad shit. I can promise that. But what's right here is gonna be good shit. Okay, this is gonna be good shit. Because it's from like a fucked up derelict. So give me this one. Q87, remember, Q87 is going to be really good shit. And let's start heading towards the... Let's start heading towards this thing. Alright, this is... This is going to be the good, 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 good shit. Alright. Walk my words. When did Tomato become such a bully? Uh, 2015, when I started making YouTube videos. 
inspire. I used to be so pure, Chet. I gotta order some food soon, because we're running longer. Running longer than I like. What time is it right now? It's what, nine my time? Nine EST right now, ish? It's starting at four. Yeah, it's gotta be like nine. I'll probably order something so I can throw it in the fridge. We're pulling up to this place, and then we're gonna lift off. In that order. Let's try and see if I'm getting shot at. Hey! I'm gonna see if I can open that thing by shooting, by like what, running into it when I get back, okay? Let's recall. Come here, while this is taking off, we'll grab a phone so I can order something. Did anything shut down while I was, like, distracted? Did I, like, lose any systems? I'm all good. I know what I'll order. Piece of cake, baby. Piece of cake. Eight fifty-four, you cretin. I round! <laughs> what do you mean, Cretan? I round! I always round. It's only 8.54. Taco Bell. I'm not doing Taco Bell. I won't do that. Don't worry. I know what I'm ordering. And it's a thing from that super good Italian place. If they're open. I, I pray they're still open. Shit! I fucking- I mean, they're open! Oh, nice! That means I can order something from them. And enjoy a good meal. It definitely didn't close an hour ago, and now I'm just- I have to pause my game when I do this, don't I? I'm just, like, burning radioactive isotopes. Hang on, uh, I- now I gotta, like, find a, a, a secondary alternative. Give me a second. I'm feeling- Oh, I know it'll get. If they're even open. They're always open. Okay, my options are narrowing. Uh, uh, if that's not open, then I, then this must be open. Oh, fuck it. At this point, I'll just order after the stream. Because everything, everywhere else is like open till late, late. It doesn't matter at that point. We're good. I forgot it's like a Monday. The bell's toll for thee. The bell's toll for me to auto duck. Let's see how much radiation I've already soaked, all right? How about that? How am I doing? I'm already sort of getting up there. A little bit. What kind of shitty auto dock can only burn 200 micro sieverts? What the fuck is that shit? I've seen water and stalker do better than that. I've seen sips of water do better than that, you son of a bitch. Remember, Q87 is going to be ascendant in quality. Ascendant. Mark my words. Let's ride. It's going to be insanely good. Optical. Optical and some sort of camera. Could it be a death laser? I need one of those. Chat, by the way, in lore right now, you guys are still on the ship because this is a new character. That means I have yet to, in this one, psycho flush you out the airlock. Laser. What'd I tell you? A laser this early? Why am I not surprised? Another. We actually got three lasers. And a. Mechanical. Something or other. Man, Hell Planet looks really spooky. I, don't, I think the other planet was much less spooky to me. Like, this green thing is so eerie and, like, sort of weird. That's, like, that's creepy to me. The green. We live. If you yell one more time, you won't be living much longer. Okay? So, like, stop yelling. You're hurting my ears. You're actually hurting my ears. Thermal. 
hurting my ears. Dude, space is so fucking scary. It really is. Space, people sometimes forget that space is an infinite void. Uh, of unknown nothingness. Where our comprehension is so limited by comparison, even now, our comprehension of space is so fucking tiny compared to the actual vastness of it. You know? Dude, imagine if we already got a thermal camera, dude. I should be sending the drone back down. But, uh, part of me says no to that idea. I want to know what these are first. Heat sink. That's a lucky first thing, even though it's very low value. It's good to get early. I'll have, like, options of stuff. Options to, like, do stuff in the future that's high heat. Laser. IR laser. This device is a laser configured to operate in infrared, capable of delivering a high energy output. Over short duty cycle, the beam will attenuate if used in atmosphere, resulting in reduced damage over distance. Okay. And then two pulse lasers. This pulse laser is super, super good, but it's a spinal mount only. I'm gonna do the IR laser. That seems like the best one. Yeah, the IR laser is way better. Yeah, we're gonna install the IR laser right now. All the others are going into storage. We need a gun. We don't need that much stuff though, right now. Discard the compass. And the status display. We can get rid of those. I'd install the heat sink, but I don't think... We actually do... Like, the heat looks like it's a lot worse than it actually is. It's really never as bad as it looks. So you sort of just eyeball it when you install it. So I'll be able to tell if I need the heat sink or not. So what are you? Why would I ever leave all the doors closed? Why don't I leave them open like a psycho like I do in fucking Signal Simulator, chat? Let's leave all the doors open. From now on. You know what's stopping me? Just leave all the doors open. In case of hull breach? Ah, yeah, what does that ever happen? What does that? Name one time. It's happened today. Exactly. We're, we're being safe for things that have never happened in lore. So why would I care? I'm doing a new thing where I leave all the doors open. Yeah, we're fine on this. Alright, we're gonna launch the rover while the next thing is being made. Oh, is that another spinal one? Ah, fuck. I swear it didn't say it on the on the tin. We'll pull it off and replace it with something else after then. Told you, smile. Uh-oh. You know what that means, chat. You know what that means. That's the five-minute timeout corner for telling me something I was missing. You know what that means? Alright, you guys can throw stuff at them now. Like food. Stuff like that. They can't fight back. You can, like throw things at them. Yeah, get them. What the hell was that? What was that? What was that? Why the, why, why'd the map flash? Why'd the map flash? Why'd everything flash? You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that, right? The fucking... It was like a flash. It was probably nothing. Let's get back to work. Open up. Only warning. Open the door. Come on. Open the door or I shoot it. Yeah, about that. Open the door. Yeah, how do I make it open? Open. I, I, it looks like it opens. I feel 
feel like I'm gonna need like a radio thing maybe. Maybe I need like the RF receiver. Maybe it uses radio signals and I need to be able to signal to it. That'd make a compelling amount of sense. on collecting shit because I, I still have that radio receiver which we haven't used ever it might be used to open this stuff and the only reason the other one opened was because there was a robot nearby like an enemy robot you know The auxiliary generator makes all the noise. I know, but what do I care about the noise? These are definitely enterable. Look at the ramps. Oh, yeah, you're an enemy. Yep, you're an enemy. Wow, this thing does damage, though. That's the thing. It did just kill that guy in two shots. These final ones are only bad against fucking planes. So, honestly, unless I'm seeing planes, this might be better. Hey, open up, I killed your friend. The only way you can collect the body is to open the door. So open up the damn door, there's gonna be problems. Come on. Open it. Well, if it's heavy-duty cannons, I have an extremely heavy-duty weapon, remember. I didn't install it because it was a spinal thing, but now that I know this thing two shots enemies, I might install that one and get a one shot enemy tier thing, you know? It's definitely open somehow. I'm gonna install the RF radio as well for this. They have to open. They have to. Up. Oh. Where? this thing <laughs> we get the stronger one stall chat baby what was I doing this whole time this thing fucks oh I'll be back for you pyramid just give me a second to get a radio receiver on and maybe we can like text each other or some shit The flying ships, though? Yeah, we'll have to fucking figure out. I mean, the thing was, if I saw a flying ship, my first response would be to recall out and recover later. You know, like, just try it again. Okay, let's park in the clear in here. Quiet out there. Too quiet this time. Something off about this place, Jed. I don't know what it is, but it feels like I am in grave danger. But I'm not really sure why. There's no reason for it. Imagine if this were Earth and an M1 Abrams tank got fucking annihilated by some random alien rover as our first contact with aliens. Isn't that just Mars attacks? Like everyone was, and they all just start shooting at the Martians, and the Martians pulled out these dinky little guns and started like vaporizing them like it was nothing. Like, pretty sure it's the same deal. I wonder how that movie held up. Pretty sure the visuals were already all like the CGI and shit was always pretty tame in it, so it probably held up okay. Like, it was always meant to be like goofy visually. Do not shoot the fucking cannon! Let's power down the cannon. Well, we're in here for now. I don't want to, like, fucking die. Wait, what's this? Audio data. The data stored on this wafer appears to be representation of sampled waveform data. Insufficient data exists to determine the original sampling frequency, so the spectrum has been mapped to the human audible range. No conjecture is available regarding the nature or origin of the recorded signal. If I stow this in the fucking ship, can I play the audio? I wonder if I can. Dude, I wouldn't be shocked if I can.
because it makes heat. I bet I can play it on the ship if I install it quickly. Because I was going to install that pulse laser as it was. All right, let's run tests on these things. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff, baby. So, the IR laser is 820 total heat, damage 10, accuracy 100, 71 cycling rate. This one is 540 total heat, cycling rate 74, damage 21. This is going to instantly kill enemies. And it's half the heat cost. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah, the pulse laser is much better. I think I'm going to have to enable this from the dashboard of the actual like control panel to see what that is, if it actually works or not. So let me test that quick. And then I gotta install the radio still. So cool. Yeah, this game is really cool. Let's uninstall it and get it in the garage. Well, out of the garage. And let's make sure that we get our RF receiver installed. Radio receiver. Let's get that in. Hopefully, this will enable us to um, open those doors, maybe. Because there's got to be a reason it exists. There has to be a reason the radio receiver exists. Right? There has to be. So why? I mean, it looks like it's, it's just a receiver, but maybe it, like, maybe it pings. Maybe the door pings something. I don't know. Oops. I want that visualized. All right, launch. Get back down there. Or maybe I'll, like, hear something. I don't know. How are these all doing? Mechanical, electrical, power, storage, electronics. Communications. What's this one? Communication. Ooh. Power storage. Storage battery. A high-quality storage battery at that. 3,600. Holds 37 units. Pretty shitty efficiency, though. What are you supposed to be? Surface plate, that's always good. Getting plates er early is so good, because that's survivability. Uh, all right, the battery is just going to go in here for now. God, this game is so cool. I would love to see the devs make a sequel to this. I don't think the devs made anything else, at least on Steam, since this game, because I checked when I, when this game clicked with me, I was like, holy shit, what else has this guy made? But I don't think he's made anything yet. I would love to play, like, a sequel to this, like, that, like, additional, like, flushing out and stuff. I'd lose my shit with that. Okay. Maybe it's just magically open, though. Maybe the amount of firepower I'm about to send into it is gonna fucking make it open for me, you know? Oh yeah, not do it for you, motherfucker. Why are you open? Do you not respect me? Maybe that communications thing we we were getting is gonna do it. I don't know. Keep exploring for now. We can embarrass ourselves in front of the pyramids later. 
That's another robot. Dead or alive, it's a robot. I think. Or it's a rock. It's a rock. An anomaly zone. Some sort of weird shit. Whatever it is, we got it. I'm gonna keep the radio receiver on, exclusively because it interests me a lot that it's enabled. Bunk terminal offline. Who gives a fuck about the bunk terminal? I can only play like fucking like dungeon guy on that thing. It's not relevant. It's unimportant to my work. I don't need to enable that again. Tell me when life support's down. Bed's broken. Bed broke. Something completely un unidentifiable. That's what I like to see. Looks like this is the edge of the map here. Storage battery research. Good. Let's go this way. I feel really powerful with this gun. Though the problem is that I need mobility. Insulative foam. That's great. That's really good. I'm gonna need mobility because I need to get super close to the enemy to hit with this thing reliably. So the game's gonna rely a lot around me just charging the enemy and fucking cannoning them the second I reach them. Because I'm not gonna be able to do many long-range kills with this thing. What with my ground speed and the fact I can't aim it and all that shit. Positioning a long-range kill is just not logical. Does that make any sense? We'll be back for that turret, for the uh, pyramid, if we can figure out a way to open it. Until then, we keep moving. Whoa! Get up there! We don't surrender the ditches! There you go. We don't surrender to stuff like that. Ever! God, now I'm missing that thermal vision. I didn't realize how good it was until I realized it was used to identify things in the distance. Like, not like, not like enemies, but like... objects, you know? Whoa! Getting shot at. Hey. Still. Okay, so that was the thing. I don't know what it just broke of mine. What did it break, chat? It broke something of mine. But that was what was making the radio signal. What did it break? Did it break my fucking arms? Oh, well, I lose. I don't have a hand anymore. I don't have any arms. Round over. We lost our arms. Arms gone. Smile. Can't pick up things with no arms. Objects everywhere. Can't pick them up with no arms. No manipulator. Well, chat, maybe these two items we have are really good. Or maybe one of them is literally arms. I would feel like the game would feel so bad for me, they just give me what I need. Target beacon. Broadband transmitter. When powered, it emits several omnidirectional, high amplitude, tonally pure reference signals. Wow. Otherwise known as trash. Operation, operating device would be counter indicated, but if avoiding detection would be of value. Okay, so I should not use this thing because it would actually help enemies uh, target me. Are you seriously dead? If I do, if one of these items I just got from this ship is not a arm manipulator, yes, uh, we'll have to go home because we just lost our only ability to pick up items. We'll have to cut. We'll have to head on out with this audio data thing and call it at that. You won't have a choice. Because I cannot build a new one, I don't think. If I could, like, make parts here, that'd be rad. But I can't, I don't think. 
Where's your arms? They're still there! They're still there! Look at your arms! Alright, get to the fucking... Get to the repair station. We might be able to... Maybe if we're lucky. You space yourself if that's the case? Oh, that's a bad sign. Everything's going wrong this time. Yeah, too bad. Sometimes that's how it is, though, chat. Sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes that's how it is. Sometimes everything goes wrong. Why am I opening every door? Who threw up here? Oh, that's just emergency. Okay. That's just like markers. This done? Okay. Over to the garage, please. Who knows, chat? Maybe one of them's. Maybe that means new. Guns! But like guns as in. You know, arms. You know? New grabbers. Yes. We got a water flush. We got a water flush. Okay, that doesn't bode well. We got another toilet. Well, who knows, though? This could be it. New hands. Buffer hands. Huh? Huh? Oh? It's unknown. We actually don't know what it is. The odds of this being hands dives by the moment, but the odds of being something of value that justifies this entire trip and makes it not a waste uh, is high, with it being unknown. Are we sure I can't get new arms? Yeah, looking like no arms, chat. Looking like can't get new arms. Which means this rover is pretty much donezo. Maybe it's people hands. Maybe it's like real man hands. All I know is it's taken a long time to fucking research. It's taken a long time to research. Can't you buy arms if you're selling shit? Well, this game, this game doesn't have any loop beyond the getting the stuff and going back home. Like, I'm making money, but money is exclusively your end score and how well your character did. You know, it's not like I'm walking away and then I can go to a store and actually buy this stuff and come back again. Like, it is a one-time trip. Anomaly tech. Error. The research facility is unable to explain the properties exhibited by this sample. Scientific measurements yield anomalous results. Research self-check and calibration sequences indicate lab is in good working order. Sample is of anomalous nature. Further research possible. Conjecture at present impossible. We're gonna find out what this thing is. All right, chat. And we get to leave before my before the radiation gets me. You know, there's a there's a plus there, chat. You know, you know, it's not all doomed. It's not all fucked. You know, we are. We do get to. We do get to kick back with way less micro sieverts than last time. This is like a livable amount. You know, quantum arms. I've sort of given up on the arm thing, chat. It's looking like this is the doomed run. I, I'm. I'm assuming that this anomaly tech is probably not arms. You know, but it might be worth a lot of money. It's taking so long to research, it's actually a little intimidating. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. I can actually order a meal while I wait for this to go. This is fun though. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, I will also be streaming, most likely Ruin Arc, which is a RimWorld-esque game where you play as the bad guy storyteller that ruins the civilization's fun. Uh, we'll probably be playing that tomorrow because that seems like a lot of fun. Yes, I will be... Uh, I get to be the antagonist and I can, like, make characters cheat on each other so that they kill each other in a fucking violent crime of passion and shit. It looks like a lot of fun. I'm going to check it out tonight. I think I got a key just now. What was it called again? Ruin Arc. Ruin. A. R. C. H. Gap Hemispheres NG6. Sample is comprised of four hemispherical objects in a tetrahedron. 
uh, configuration separated by one half of their radius. These objects are not connected yet remain rigidly in formation as though a single object. Mechanical force available to research facility cannot increase nor decrease the distance between hemispheres. The hemispheres will spin about their central axis without measurable friction. Mechanical probes may be passed through the gaps without interference. Method of operation unknown. Purpose unknown. That sounds like something I immediately sell to someone at a space uh, colony without any real concern for our safety. That sounds like money to me who likes magnets. Who likes magnets? Well, Planet Hell, I wish we could have stuck around for longer. But there's nothing I can do. We don't have arms, chat. We don't have arms. Well, if you install it, it says if it can install because it implies it takes heat and produces heat. That's how you can tell if something's actually installable. Because we, like, installed that, we installed that, like, body part earlier and it didn't, like, appear as anything. We're a little short run. I was expecting that to run longer. Montel Boyd explored the planet's surface at some length. They fucked off pretty quick. Uh, mapping portions of the valley he discovered at the landing site. He looted nine derelicts and recovered 11 alien artifacts from the surface. He made use of Discovery's research lab, granting him basic familiarity with several alien technologies. The most valuable of the items was a Gap Hemispheres, valued at, 60, at 8,900 credits. In all, his collected treasures were worth a total of 42,000 credits. During his expedition, he exposed himself to no significant radiation damage. Flush with the proceeds of the sale of alien treasure, Montel Boyd is going to go on a vacation! <laughs> Woo! Look at that! He's going to see the universe as a tourist with an effectively unlimited budget. If he finds something that interests him, he'll stay as long as he feels like it. If not, he might just be on vacation permanently. Yo! Not bad. 40k is a lot. For this game's thing. Won't, doesn't top our last run, but our last run we didn't lose our arms. So, um, you know. Fun game. I'd recommend it. We obviously didn't see everything uh, by a long shot, but I definitely don't have time to play anymore. It's been five and a half hours. I will be back tomorrow at four. But yeah, the usual. You guys know how this works by now. Okay. Uh, I'm at the notifications. I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, too bad about the fucking... Too bad about that goddamn... Too bad about the arms, truly. Awful lot of notifications today. Okay. <clears throat> Null Activity, thanks for the Prime. The Get a Life Club, thanks for gifting us up. The Quumbus, thanks for the 14 months Prime. Captain Protagonist, five gifted subs to the channel. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, by the way. I, uh... It was a lot of fun for me. This was a cool thing. Harmony Optional, thanks for the six months. Space Letters OG, thanks for the 11 months. Oh cool, it's my monthly ritual where I ask myself, why? Why am I sub to this guy? Oh yeah, now I remember. It's the emotes and the wacky antics and shenanigans. Yes, 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 uh, uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. I might play it again even, I'm not sure. Emperor's Holiday, thanks for the two months prime. Kringulus, thanks for the eight months. Muscle Wart, thanks for the 15 months. We Are Miners, thanks for the 10. Crazy Pink Llama, thanks for the six months prime. Unvenihilator, thanks for the 18 months. Vigili, thanks for the 19 months. Esquark, 21 months, thank you. The J Ferrer, thanks for the two months. Big Hydra Boy, thanks for the 20 months. I remember this game, it's very good. And Pringles are shit, Pringles are shit. Tyvani, thanks for the 16 months. Thank you very much. Mo, Mo, Yen, thanks for the two months. Elf Tractor, four months, thank you. Legionary, 24, five months prime. Sir Alphavax, thanks for the 10 months, thank you. Sir D of Bug, four months, thank you. Music for Sad People, 18 months prime. Next Xavier, 17 months. Sensual Lizard, thanks for the 21 months. Geags, 047, thanks for the four months prime. Galander, 19 months. Last DJDL, thanks for the 18 months. Look Sizzle, seven months, thank you. OV1 Kanab, three months, thank you. Thank you. Not a factor, six months. Pickle Puffin, 12 months, prime, thank you. Totally a Cretan, prime. Dead Pilot, 31, 17 months, thank you. Firing Tart, 12 months. T-Dub, 2217, 10 months. White Bushido, thanks for the six, sorry, seven months, prime. Sturgy Man, thanks for the 14 months. Arenator, thanks for the 13 months. Rimrand, thir three months, prime. Boogeyman, three months prime as well. Thank you, Rufuda. Thanks for the th 13 months. Never again shall I stay a dried out husk with the power of this holy liquid. He then drinks. I'm gonna take that away from you. 
Renegade Gamer, thanks for the Prime and Furnace 152. Thanks for the 20 months. Thank you very much. Tadius, nine months. Thank you. I'm Domination, 11 months prime. Happy Martin. Ken, give the subscription to the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Martin, for that. Thanks. Dijon Mustard, six months prime. Raxfield, 10 months prime. Document, thanks for the 14 months. I found my account, thanks for the uh, four months prime. Shinzilla, nine months. Scrunkle Dink, thanks for the 10 months prime. Christopher, 19 months. Nude, please, thanks for the prime. Davy Jones, thanks for the three months. Uh, Mystery Ryan, gifting us up. Last Class, thanks for the five months. Scrumbirch, 18 months. Ken, thanks for the three months prime. Mikairu Art, thanks for the three months as well. Pancake Monarch, thanks for the two. Jubby Up, 16 months. Please just take this message, which is holding a chat shaped thing to my head and making me do it. Oh no. Yeah, you got it, man. Casual Cards, Prime. Fried Teddies, five months, thank you. Mimi Sad, thanks for the prime, 12 months. Goosey, 13 months. Hi, Tomato. I went to a doctor to get a checkup, and he told me he had a message for you. But then he just started kicking my ass. What's up with that? On the plus side, he did give me great medical care afterwards. I've had some bad experiences with doctors, and many of them will never forget my wrath. Okay? So, um, he probably... He probably knew me from one of my many medical escapades. We Val me and Fep, thanks for the two months. Fairgrims, 13 months. Mr. Kruger, one, five months. Super, super, one, two, three, two months prime. Billy Bob Cletus, five gifted subs of the gentle. Thank you very much, Billy Bob. Thank you. Nera Turgy, thanks for the eight months prime. Death Hobo, four months prime. Sarge McD, 20 months. Will the Waffler, thanks for the four months. BS Boomstick, seven months. The Bim Bam, five months prime. Billy Bob Cletus with a hundred bits. Scripps with another hundred bits. Thank you. ITD, thanks for the two months prime. Thank you. BCB Darts, 12 months. Thank you. Diesel Dragons, eight months prime. Johnster Bation, cursed name, eight months. Happy birthday, chat. Happy birthday, chat. You only get one, and this is it right now, so I hope you celebrate it. You only get one. Commander Cap, 29 months. Thank you very much. A veteran. Thank you. Sir Dragon Chris, 17 months prime. Century One, six months. Soul Eater Van, Soul Eater Evans, 12, four months prime. Crystal Blue Skies, four months. Mossberg Hitman, nine months. Fire Blaster, one, three, uh, three, one, three, one. Thanks for the nine months. The Skeleton, five months. Bane is Batman, one, two months. Thank you, Skrumbinski. Thank you for the sub as well. Guess your night. Subscribing. Thank you. Ptolemy Mios Frost. Thank you for the prime. Lilybun, also subscribing. Not her time. Thanks for returning to me. Thank you very much. Labar Laboon. Thanks for the prime. Spurch, 1,500 bits. News from the pit, my lord. I fear we may have dug too deep in our search for moisture. We have awoken a, the Balrog, a demon of the ancient world. Shall I rally the other pit dwellers to kill it? Nah, let it hang out, dude. If it gets you, it gets you. It's not really my problem. Casual Incarnate, thanks for the 12 months. Lord Reptile, thanks for the 13 months. Thank you. Pick Liquor, thanks for the uh, 10 months. Sir William, 100 bits. It's time for you to admit it, Cherry. We don't exist. It's the radiation talking back. Please, let go. No. Luke 55755, five, five, seven months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Paragon FV, thank you for the subscription. Neandrawal, Neandruthal. I got it, I got there. Thanks for the three months. Vok, tier two subscription for 18 months. Thank you very much. Black Knight Kirk, three months. For Star Force, 10 months. Squaming Burrito, thanks for the five months. Gerbil Sniffer, 16 months. Sad Times EXE, 10, 11 months. Raging Sleepaholic, thanks for the 12 months. Darkabit, thanks for the 15 months. It's a drag. 15 months as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shadow Wolf, 5293. Five months. Netscape Navigator. Thank you for the subscription. The Carnifex, five months. Mystery Rhino, six. 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for introducing me to this game. No problem. I'm glad. I, I hope people try it out and enjoy it because it was a blast for me. Smuff McGruff, five months. Prime Clone, six. 14 months. Gnostics, five months. Dark Warlos, five. Gifted subs of the channel. Thank you very much, Dark War Warlos, for that. Mr. Dead Rat, thanks for the two months prime. Is Alaz, eight months prime. Victor Zhorhovsky, thanks for the prime. Bet you thought I'd mispronounce that. I feel like I got pretty close. Vognor, thanks for the 14 months. Bingus, Bingus, will you ever play Among Us? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, Young Pepe Fresh 420 Aqua, thanks for the 100 bits. If you could have any condiment come out of your belly button when you squeeze your belly button, what would it be? 
Uh, I'm not reading the rest of this because that whole question fills me with a lot of like thoughts that I don't even want to. I don't even want to try to process. So we're moving on. Am Ravenwood, thanks for the two months prime. Thank you. Millball, thanks for the prime two months. And Kwa, thanks for the seven months. Chat, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. EST. Fun stream today. Real fun. I'm gonna raid Boone today. I don't know what he's doing, but he's live, and that's enough for me. So slash raid too soon Boone. God knows if that even works. I should probably just open up the right window to do it. All right, chat. Thank you so much for watching today. This was a blast. Uh, genuinely, I, I love that I can get away with playing just like, weird shit. Like, keep these, keep weird shit like this coming in the recommendations too. Cause these, this was like, I was so happy last night when I found out this game like existed. So like, please feel free to recommend weirdo shit and obscure, like not many people have played this game, sorts of games. Cause I'm willing to buy a game that looks cool from the pictures and give it a go off stream to find out if it's something I'm gonna play, okay? So never be afraid to recommend something to me. Cause a lot of the time, I'm not gonna hold it against you. I'll tell you that if I don't like it. You should end up finding something I'll enjoy even if it's just off stream. This was great. I may even play it again. I might, this might even be a part two kind of thing. Cause I feel like I wanna, I, I feel like I gotta find an alien that comes on. I feel like I gotta have something come and get me on the ship. Maybe we'll do it as like a part two. I've got some stuff I got. There's, I've got some short games I wanna play still. Maybe we'll do it as like a, like halfway through the stream, we switch back to this and play that or something. I don't know. It might end up being like a backup thing. We'll see. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Go hang out with Boone. Thanks for watching. You guys are great. Bye-bye.